That's Speed, actually what I, the worst song on the album. Offset didn't cook. That was very job? generous of Gunna, but <laughs> no, Offset definitely came, nah, he came walked, with it. He, he walked, came with it. He walked on that joint. Yeah, that's saying a lot. That says something. You, you agree? You think that's the worst one? No, no, no. I'm saying to, to say that is the worst song because it's not the worst. It's not like no, it's definitely the worst song on the album. That's crazy. And it's still oh my God. I've had okay. this conversation with like oh three foes. They won. Oh Wanna fans. Like, you know uh, what I'm saying? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, yo, yo. Top five. Top five. Top five. His name's not good enough more. Speed about to turn. His name is no skip. Speed about to turn into one of the He about to turn into a Pierce, bro. You hear him? He about to turn into a Pierce. He's becoming a stand. Gunner don't need no features, bro. He got That's a feature on that? No, I'm just saying, though, like, on his album. He only got three. He did not need that. Hold on, this, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This nigga just said kids at the house hunted to the nanny. That's real shit. No bullshit, bro. Kids <laughs> at the house. I'm out. I'm in Sky Miami, nigga. <laughs> I I'm in Sky Miami, <laughs> nigga. Hunted <laughs> to the nanny. Bro. <laughs> bro. bro, do you know who's he? Bro, Tim, Take you don't care care know who he really is at work, bro. Yo, no, nah, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see him, bro. He having a conversation about marriage, a kid. Bro. Oh my god, bro! Damn. But bro, everybody come to him, and then like, is thank it, you. It no, be you know how many do. times I be sitting around, I'm not doing shit. I'm sitting right here, speed like a two joints away. Somebody come, on. yeah, man. I was just with the look. Then we gonna have a combo. Yeah, like, talk. yeah, yeah like talk. you can't. Yeah, I mean, oh, but I'm don't make, it. don't act like I don't make my way over to the receiver room. Shout out to Young Down. Shout out to JD. Hey. Shout out to the member. Yeah, the guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. The guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn, let me get it right though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shout, out, shout out, shout out to the members for sure, for sure. But for sure. you know what I'm saying? I, I make my way over. We have look, look. I got war stories. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't don't, I like don't do back, that. Though. I came back on me. Yeah. I done earned my scars. You heard okay. me? I done earned okay. them. Okay. I'm talking about from the from the weight room staff <laughs> to the. I'm like, bro, what is you and Zane having a conversation about? Oh my goodness! But it's cool though. <laughs> like, yeah. That's hate. Every time I walk past, that's hate. Like, that's crazy. You. Hey, listen, welcome to another episode of The Trenches. Hey. Uh, I am your host, Zaya Franklin, joined here with my brothers. Huh? Look, y'all ain't gonna lie to y'all. Motherfuckers beating my door down. Z, we pie this week? Damn, Z, no, because we need... <laughs> Niggas been wanting to... But we here, what? What y'all want to talk about? I already know what Tim want to talk about. Me and... Listen, everybody know, just know something. Listen, Tim is my line brother. We've been locked in going on 10 years. Man. Best man. Yep. Godfather Cairo. If we pause the pod to slap box real quick, just understand <laughs> it ain't the first, it ain't the last. That's still my man. Because he been talking to me real disrespectfully off mic. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's about a bunch of shit. Let's get there. <laughs> we, Slow walk. Can we, can we check in first before you? See, Tim, Cause I'm see, already going. I'm already ready to go. Tim be acting real yeah, I spent too much time. Y'all went to the game courtside. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. That was just spending time. That was just spending time. You know. <laughs> hey. Hey. hey, look, man. Look, look, look. Feet on land. What they telling? I come to slap at ABM. Hey, hey. <laughs> come on, man. Hey. Hey. hey, come on, man. Just tell me, say you caught the ball off the. Uh... Hey, speed. Can't this take, one thing. Can't take Tim nowhere. Speed, this bro. one thing. Can't I'm take say. Tim nowhere. This bro. what I'm gonna say. He ain't go NBA dreams with. Wherever them, you go, man. Look, look. And you been with there the before. Loose ball. Wherever I go. Yeah. <laughs> it just find me, bro. It bro, just find me, bro. So look, listen, understand Man. something, bro. Understand something. We we go to the game. <laughs> we go to the game on Friday. We pull up. This man, Tim, don't know how to act. We right here, right underneath the bucket. Tim, we right here on the floor, front row. Tim, every chance he get walking baseline, <laughs> bumping Nick, like he you know how you supposed to walk behind the camera. Yeah. He walking around the camp, like bro. Yeah, he up. With, with the Bud Light. <laughs> I'm like, Tim, bro, come on, bro. They they nah. showed me love with the seats, bro. Come on, gang. You just. I ain't going to lie, Speed. You know what they messed up at, though? <laughs> so, look, this was our first. I, this was my first time having the experience. He was probably like, you know what, bro? I ain't even messing with it right now. The lady kept walking past us that was delivering drinks. <laughs> I said, oh, you. They. That's for us. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Grab me a couple of <laughs> back there, man. Nah, <laughs> Bud Light. You went Bud Light? No, no, that wasn't that was not that was my cool down. The Bud Light was it my was, cool. It was down. a cool okay, down. That was my cool down. Man, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. mandatory shots when you walk in. That's yeah, just that's just sure, set the energy. Sure, like, yeah, just yeah. I feel it. like I'm more saucy with the tequila. Yeah, no question. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. the man though. That's on the walk in. Like as yeah. soon as he walk in, that's just how we getting the day mm -hmm. going. Yeah, like in the yeah, general, like, for sure. Yeah. 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 Shout out yeah. to the Pacers staff. But that's your first time on the wood? Nah. That wasn't the first time. Second. I go like third. 
Bro, what, was, what, I, what I do? Hey, bro, <laughs> I've been on the floor at a Pacers game. Oh, all right, okay. We cool. was together. You was on the opposite side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that that was, was my first time. Oh, you yeah, talking yeah. about against the Sixers? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that was yeah, my first yeah. time. That was my first game. It's actually spoiling because after you touch the wood, you can't go back to another. Bro, no, nah, that's either a sweet fact. or wood. Sweet yeah, or wood. Yeah, like, yeah. Once yeah, you, you once you sit courtside at a game, it completely changed your experience of going to basketball games <laughs> forever. Like you can't really. And I ain't gonna hold you. I know it sounds mad bougie. Like please understand something. I grew up sneaking in the nosebleed seats. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I remember my dad got got us tickets to the uh, Sixers versus the Cavs back when Bron was playing. Bro, we up like section <laughs> 432, something crazy up there. We need the binoculars. You know what I'm saying? This fourth quarter tie game, we sneak down. He holding me <laughs> so I can see over the security it's person. Security board not playing about letting niggas That's in. Crazy, no. Not playing. <laughs> like, no, let's, but it's a but look, you feel me? That's how we got to see the four. You know what I'm well, saying? That was Cleveland or Miami, Ron. That was a Cleveland run. That was the first Cleveland run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, I ain't gonna okay. hold you. That was back when we had Iguodala, Drew Holiday. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a, you know what I mean? Okay. You know what I mean? Good yeah. little John. Yeah. Nerlens Noel. I think that was before Nerlens. Was that Thaddeus Evan? Young. We had Thaddeus. Was that Evan That might have been Elton Brand. Was that Evan Turner? Era. Evan Turner was Evan on Turner. that squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or it yeah. might have even, that might have been, yeah, that was right around time Evan came. Evan was disappointed, but. When Lil Rowe gonna make his appearance? Course you know what's actually crazy? So well, listen, uh, that's, that's little, a dad. Every three. You gonna do a way crazier though, cause you feel me? My pops had me in a nosebleed too. I don't know if I could give little dude the court side first time though. <laughs> you crazy first time? Yeah, and you gotta take pictures. You ever seen the pictures of Steph Curry and his pops court side? But of course his dad was playing. But yeah, so he used to still. be in that practice. He know nigga stay outside. He's like, Kyra gonna ball. And start crying. He can't get the ball. Whoa. <laughs> I can't. So he need, he need a few more yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. He, he need, need the sweet years. at least. Like, you know what I'm saying? He need like two oh. more years. Yeah, he probably, he, yeah, maybe, maybe, you know what I'm saying? He, he got, gotta be he got a scope. Out. Yeah, Ro got, I think, yeah, I think that's Ro. Ro got a scope scene first to see yeah. what they doing. Even though Defoe said he was, he was going to bring his son to the game on Friday. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, he said okay. he popping out with Young Dom. Shout out to Young Dom. Shout out to the Buckners. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On the wood with Pops is a different vibe. Right? OD. Yeah, oh, that's OD. That's a great that's different vibe. I ain't gonna hold you. Work for to yeah. sit courtside with your son? That's nah, that's a, definitely a flex. That, he worked for that. That's he definitely a flex. That. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a. Great <sighs> All right, y'all gonna not like me for this. I'm gonna just say this though. I gotta pay for dog seat, plane seat. <laughs> <laughs> like he at that age where he don't fly free no more. Really? Yeah. So I gotta pay for his flight. Wait, what? I didn't know that was like a thing. Cause yeah, one, no, once you turn really? two, you gotta you gotta pay for the pay for your this your kid to get on. Really? Yeah. What? But and I ain't gonna lie, seat, that right? shit be grinding me up. Yeah, that's like, crazy. That's crazy talk. So to pay for his seat, courtside. <laughs> you might walk enough. in with room. He gotta earn that a little bit. He got. He gotta start taking the trash out at least first. I don't know, bro. Like, look, I don't know if he put enough sweat equity in to just get that. I don't look, bro. Look, bro, this is my least, household though. At this least my feed household. Creed, bro. Taking the trash. Yeah, out yeah. Crazy. That's what I'm saying. Okay, you right. can at least if you ain't at least feeding Creed every day. Yeah. He gotta hit the half. You gotta court. earn that court he side. Hit the I ain't gonna lie. From the kitchen to the uh, to the living room. Living room? Price. He gotta make a layup. He gotta make. A <laughs> <laughs> he hit that joint. It's, it's game time. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Lil Ro yeah, just gonna get the this. just get the court side. Like, nah, I might just go to the nosebleeds off the scrimp just to teach him some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just to give him some some memories. You know what I'm saying? Something to work towards. You feel me? Yeah, just if I give him the floor, like, damn, it took me 28 years. Like, this nigga supposed to get it in two? I don't know. That ain't a little fair to me, but yo, shout out to little bro though. Dang, you know what I'm saying? No, I ain't gonna get into that. I'm not gonna get into that. I will, I will say that's nuts. That's crazy. What? Nigga can't get the 500 roll. He gotta go to the no. Yeah, he gotta bro. learn uh, something. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to tell Island Bird like this, my dog. You he supposed to Island Bird supposed to roll through the ball. Hey, come on, bro. Now listen, I roll understand that. that. I, and look, and I'm with that. Next season, <laughs> but these playoff floor tickets for the Knicks ain't like the free. Time. First of all, yeah, let's get into that, bro. Since our since y'all gonna line me up, and I love the Pacers. First of all, I actually, I'm actually, hold on, you know what? Let me, uh, I'm actually because Conti, I actually gotta get on Conti ass about something real quick. Oh shit! Because I called him out today and he, and he skated, but uh, we about to we about to see what Conti on. But let me call Conti. He might he back. might be coaching his son right now though. Okay. You know, he the head coach of all the baseball teams. Diamonds. Yo, what's up, Z? Conti, how you doing? You are live on the trenches. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? You, you know good? He in trouble. 
I'm excellent. How are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah, we just talking about, you know, Pacer games and all that, man. And I just felt like I had to, you know, I wanted to, you know, get your explanation on again on that uh the Pacers shirt that you was wearing at the game. Um, you uh, know, you know, I consider us both diehards. You yeah, feel tell me? me all that. <laughs> but yeah, you had the you wore some other colors. So I'm gonna just I give you a chance way. to speak on why you did that. Listen, I fully support the Pacers hometown team. I love them. Corporate. Great organization, <laughs> great staff, great team, fun to watch, fun atmosphere to be a part of. And when, they're playing, the game, and when they're and when they're playing one of your biggest rivals, you support them. You support them all the way. That's a hundred. That's a hundred. You know, good for you, Conti. Give me a hand. Round of applause. Round of applause, Round of applause for Conti. Give me a hand. Conti, he running for mayor. Call us when we take Conti, your work mayor, shirt off. You know what? You know what, Conti? You sound like a. You sound like a senior VP of communications with that answer, bro. That was flawless. <laughs> that was flawless, Conti. Yeah, but well, I mean, I'm in everywhere. Go Pacers. I go Pacers. Go for okay. sure, for sure. Okay. I right, love you, Conti. I'm gonna hit you later, bro. Love you. Yes, sir. Nah, I need to get. I need to get on that with Conti. As a Philly native, though, let me say this though, and it's actually funny because some they asked me about this, but sure. it's different. Like when you know the guys on the team, though. Like if you you bumping into Miles, you bumping into you feel me to Holly. Like when you seeing these guys, buddy, we didn't run into buddy. Well, he on the Sixers now, but you know he he was on the That's Pacers. Right, for sure. Running into buddy in Miami, like Jarris Walker. Like we know these dudes now, so it's like That's true. It's a little different. If you know people on the team, I'm gonna support the people that I know. You get what I'm saying? That's true. Okay. Also, hometown. You feel me? I mean. I feel you like know. they feel the same way about y'all. Shout out to Holly with the, uh, the Nelson jerk. Yeah, you see, he yeah. rocked the Q Nelly. That was tough. That was he, tough. Where are Holly from? Is he from Iowa? I don't know. He went to Iowa State. Oh, he from Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. See. Yeah, they ain't got shit over Shout out Beloit. Shout out to Beloit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a, oh, that's why they was beefing with the Bucks. They kept talking about, like, hometown kids. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a different, that's a different drone, like. Yeah, but my thing is, look, when you when you know the guys on the team, you going to root for the guys now. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So, I mean, like, I'm out to. there. Yeah, I'm turned for Holly. Yeah. Holly like that, too. First of all, the <laughs> Come on. Filthy. He went fed. For, and he was right there when Nimbari hit the jump. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. I was scared of shit when he shot that shit, though, too, though, bro. For Because we just, for the game, though, that shit was cash. I ain't going to hold you. When he, when he hit the in and out and lost it, I said, oh, he might not. Yeah, I was but scared. Then he, then he bought it back in the... <laughs> And I said, oh, no, this cash. That's going in. Tim, was you coaching them boys on the... Yes. Yes. Oh yes. 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 This yes, is sir. another thing. Yes, 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 yes. Tim, he can't... talking about some Holly, win the minute. Win, win the, the minute. minute. He's talking you about gotta some... win the I'm minute. About, I'm, talking, I'm, talking, I'm talking about like, I'm Tim. Chill. He can't. Tim, let he them said, game. no, he can hear me, though. He can, look, 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 look. This nigga, he keep calling TJ McConnell the wrong name. Talk about some, no, he going to hear me. CJ. CJ, <laughs> CJ, go tell CJ. I said, yo, his name TJ. He said, no, I'm going to call him CJ. So he hear me calling. I'm like, bro. Yo, real talk. Still, bro, bro. Let, the man, let the man hoop, bro. Nah, no, nah, you need that. You need that. You need that. You need that playoff. That's playoff atmosphere right there. Everybody talking. It's loud in here. You looking for the coach. Yeah, I, but they, had, they home court. No, 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 no. That's what you need. You like that. You play better, bro. You play better. You on the sideline. Speed is right there. By I'm the so, ass. I'm so glad they got Tim down there. Like, <laughs> body is on, bro. And Tim was right behind our bench, I know, bro. bro. I couldn't do that. I yeah, swear I to God, that. bro. Bro, we had the game. Hey, they, they, they cussing out the little kids, cussing out the player. I'm like, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off your knees, ref. I'm yo. Yeah. Like, slow down, bro. <laughs> like, it's a family environment kind of out here. Though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Chill on that. Yeah, that, but, yeah that's what... <laughs> Yeah, no, they, they were wild. They were wild. Yeah, they was wild in that jump. But no, nah, I mean, look, you're going to support the guys that you know, but sure. my thing, and look, shout out to the Pacers. Pacers <laughs> show a lot of love when I'm there, though. They just. Bernie. I'm saying, though, because, <laughs> like, hurt. look, like, look, man. Walk in here, God. I'm just saying, bro, like, look, I ain't saying my loyalty up for grass. I'm always going to rock with the Sixers. Let me just start straight there. That's if that's my that's my loyalty. That's what my flag is. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. However, but the, Sixers ain't, the Sixers ain't never dropped my highlight at the, on the Jumbotron at the game. So, like, shit, that's kind of crazy, right? That's a fact. But then the Pacers, nigga, y'all ain't giving no, y'all ain't giving no love to the no kids. No gear. Because I done been on wood at the, uh, at the Sixers game for the free. Oh, yeah. No, and no. ain't been in the city for months. No, for sure. Right there, little, little, who was that? Right there in front of Brunt. Was that Brunt? 
AD? Yeah, it was Bron, yeah, LA. It was yeah, Bron, LA, and sure. Bron, AD. Yeah, that then, was Then uh, for the playoffs, John, I'm right there uh, versus the Celtics, round two. For the free ski, though. Man. They hitting over their head for them bitches. Now, I get it. It's the Knicks. By, I, I, now, let me say this. I don't understand it in terms of, like, because I get where they're coming from. Okay. Like, small market teams not having as much leverage. That's pretty much what they be trying to say. Like, yeah. well, not just them, but everybody. They be like, look, you know, it's different for them. You know, they trying to capitalize. Well, well, well. my whole point is that's even more reason for us to work together. Yeah. I just to let you get, let you get back and cooking. So I've heard that they don't, the floor seats for the Knicks are not for sale. Like they don't sell those. Like, yeah, you gotta be. You gotta buy them just for the year, huh? They, yeah, they very much like. No, no, no. They are very much like. Hey, you doing X, Y, and Z? What? Oh, you worth bad bunny? Here you go. Yeah. Oh, dr- oh, here you go. It's, yeah. They doing it like that. Oh yeah, because they turned it into a big celebrity. Yeah. Product. That's what it's yeah. supposed that's what to be. Though. Though. That's what it's supposed to be. And and I'm talking. Because you gotta to, use that likeness for sure. Yes. And and that's, that's what I'm yeah. going. That's what's going. Yeah. On. And that's what I'm telling Conti. I'm like, bro. Like, and I get it. And Conti was. Kicking me, I'm like, bro. Listen, I'm not even saying me. I'm not even saying I'm in this. Yeah. I'm in this uh, category. Yeah. Ar Quentin, you know what I mean? Pitt, you know what I mean? You know the young boys that's really moving jerseys and all that shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Caitlin, like Mike Epps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. said, we had Edge out there. Like yeah. you're supposed to look around, bro. Because as a kid, when I was a young boy and I was up in row 400. Me just knowing that I was in the same building as AI at the time that's a fact. was crazy. meant everything. Yeah. Damn, he right, bro. That's AI right, right there. there. Let me zoom in. That's him, fact. bro. That's a fact. That's then you shit. look down, see Benny Siegel right there on the joint. On me, yeah. like it's like damn, bro. Them boys, them boys, them nah, boys. Look, look. What you go back? You go to school on about that? Yeah, but bro, everybody was in there. Yeah, Benny, man. Yeah. yeah, Beans, State AI. Yeah, yeah, I was in there too. You feel me? I was in the building. Cause guess what? It used to just be lit to be in the building. That's a fact. Come on. Bro, you got Pat out there. there. It's like, yeah. cause like that whole that on the floor, bro, is supposed to be the city celebrities, the people that people want to pay to be around. Yeah, uh, for, for sure, for sure, for sure. We don't need the senior VP of Eli Lilly or whoever the hit like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> True Financial, you know what I mean. In the quarter zip, respectfully the, uh, though, I ain't no, no, trying. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, don't come for me, big farmer. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Armor, uh, yeah, they got the spurries yeah. on. Like, come on, <laughs> yeah. sprinkle, yeah. sprinkle those in, sprinkle them in, bro. Yeah, like, I'm saying couple, though, couple, put first, them over somewhere that, <laughs> the, where nobody. You feel me? First couple set Come bro, on, bro. I'm yeah, watching yeah. the Knicks game. I see the Jets. They hold John right. I'm like, damn, Quentin Williams. I'm at Quincy Williams. Damn, uh, him and his brother. Damn, all right, back CJ. Damn. <laughs> I uh, stopped. Yeah. Buzz that. Yeah. No, buzz yeah. Down, crazy. I stop. Just like, I, Tommy DeVito. <laughs> DeVito on it? DeVito be there every game. I be like, I be hating. That's the only time I love. Y'all love DeVito. Shout out to TD. <laughs> Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, side at the Knicks. Michael B. Jordan. Come on. Because yeah, you will never know who be in town. Yeah, it was bad, boy. They showed my dog AR on the screen. He right behind like the little. Yeah, like, even, bro, even Speed. You got my man Speed, right? Yeah. Come on, bro. Show my man some love. He got the. With the drip, like on niggas can't with. even see my man's shoes on it. Yeah, man. <laughs> yes, I'm a fact. Behind. Yeah, like, bro, it's just, man, we gotta work together. It's that's all I'm though. saying, bro. We just need to work together. That's my, that's my thing, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like half of it might be just like, do they truly like? Do they got a commitment from y'all? Like, get y'all would like show up? Cause what you mean? It's just on some like, yo, like if we do, if we do decide to. I mean, make this a thing, if bro. Somebody, I mean, I guess. I mean, that's better ways. It's ways to make sure that this. Shit that's happens. what I'm saying. I if mean, they, my, if both parties wanted to make it happen, we'd make it happen. Yeah, and I'm, I'm also, I'm also say this too, bro. Like respectfully, even when before Hollaberg got here, even when they wasn't good and competitive, like if somebody had, you know, course size seats to the to a game, it's you won't go you regardless. Won't. Pretty much regardless of who it is against. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you could be playing the damn. Again, this is years ago. If it was. You know them playing the magic the Detroit shit with, with Biz Bismack Biombo ass. Yes. I feel like Tim, <laughs> I, Tim. I feel like you the best person for this conversation. Okay, I want you to be totally real. The whole conversation about the uh, I forgot her name is Daddy a, a coach or whatever. But he Austin started Rivers. the conversation. Austin Rivers started the conversation. Here we go. I told Z I didn't want to talk about this, but I feel like we have to. We had to get. We got to get there. Thirty <laughs> NFL players. Thirty <laughs> NBA players. Uh huh. Do you think? There's 30 NBA players that can play in the NFL and 30 NFL players that can play in the NBA. 
Because you do, know what side me and Z on. So. Do I think there are 30 players You the happy medium right now. <laughs> you might as well go. You done went viral for all kind of wealth. For sure. Shit, so you so might look, well this, what, this is what I'm going to say. <laughs> is that I can already, I can name you five guys right now that have made the transition from being college standouts in basketball and being exceptional in the NFL. I'll start with Julius Peppers. Like, it's, it's, it's clear that there is an understanding on the basketball court that we can play or that they can play football. My only... My, so my, do, hold on, hold on. Do you think Julius Peppers was a football player who was playing basketball, or do you think he was a basketball player who went to go play football? Great question. I think he was a basketball player at Carolina that played football. Mm-hmm. That went to go play football in the NFL. I so thought, there's no I, way I he was that a Julius football Peppers, player playing basketball. Didn't Julius Peppers play football in UNC as well? He played both. He played both sports. I just I thought Julius Peppers was. But then he Peppers went to the a, NFL, but he's a basketball player going to play football. I thought that right, he was ahead. a dominant. I thought that he was a, a no, I won't say dominant, but he was a better than subpar basketball player. So I thought that but he's he a Hall of Fame football. Been. player. He's a Hall of Fame football player. Okay, All right, that made ahead. the transition to from basketball to football, or to from. Okay, from, you from said Ju- you said Julius NBA. Peppers. Who else? Uh, I went Antonio Gates. I went. Uh, who else? What was the what was, hey, what was the guy's name? Not Gonzalez. I think Gonzalez played basketball. Yeah, but I mean, but, but it was the other guy though. Um, the Jimmy number ninety nine, Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham. There we go, and Jimmy Graham. That was my four right now. But I don't want to get off to my names because I know we're talking about the league right now. Yeah, I just think that the transfer of skill. It's easier to hide an athletic basketball player than it is to hide a athletic football player transferring. I think you got to come out. I think you got to come out and make a play in football and basketball. It's only 10 people out there, bro. I can throw, but hear what I'm saying to you. I can put De'Aaron Fox, and y'all let me know if I'm tripping about the position because I think that you can put De'Aaron Fox on special teams. No, you can't. You can't put De'Aaron Fox, the fastest nigga in the NBA. He can't do nothing in the NFL? First of all, we need to also acknowledge that there's different types of speed, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, Yo, there's guys out there. He guy- has mind-blowing speed, though. Compared to who, though? To compare to anyone in the right now in the NBA, he's he is the speed guy. Okay, right you can now be the league. fastest guy he's in the NBA, one. but does that mean that you're the, you're even you know relatively fast compared to football players? I so this is what I'm gonna say to you is that for what he has to do and how often he has to make sure that he has the ball in his hand and he's moving. Yes, because you gotta you gotta take out the factor of I'm saying he's on special teams. He doesn't have the ball. He has to run. You gotta run. You're also running in grass and turf. You're not running on hardwood. And somebody that's also trying true. to take his head off. Too. Yeah, and you and like that's another thing. You gotta understand. Element, you it's exactly. not just not running. Like, but I'm saying speed. What I tell them all the time: it, they shooting outside. Nah, definitely. You better duck. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> nah, you running through five. Are you going? Are you? Going, I'm trying to let you go. No, 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 no. no, no. This what, what I'm saying to you. I think that the transfer is. I ain't gonna say it's easier, but I think it's a smoother transfer. Austin Rivers might have been wilding on saying, like, yo, like, there, are, there is undoubtedly a chance for all 30 people that he would name mm-hmm. to go to the NFL and actually produce. I think that there is a higher possibility of the, of the guys in the NBA going to the NFL that have a better chance. I don't think that I can take 30 guys in the NFL and put them in the NBA and for their percentages to be higher. I don't think that's true. Cause who you who cause respectfully who are you with with three people because we can we can just narrow it down with three people in the in the NFL right now would you take today and put them on an NBA roster not start but put them on a roster just based off of like athletic talent that they've shown yeah, on the basketball yeah, yeah. court yeah, uh, yeah. Miles Garrett uh, okay. Anthony Richardson um, and I've never seen them I know people uh, I've got killed for this but. Just because I've seen uh, my man Bogdanovich and who my other man, Joe Ingles, I think Kelsey, if he could shoot, Kelsey remind me of a nigga that could probably play a, a solid three. Which is a major factor. But go ahead, though. Who, so is that three? Is that if three? I, I mean, if I, if I, just, that's just off the top of my head. Like, just based off of, like, athletic ability, athletic what ability. they've shown able to do. Okay. Um, so these are like the that. people that are just making, that they are number 15. They're, they're the number 15 yeah, guy. But why do y'all feel like, th- all right, but, okay. 
This is my main issue with this whole argument. Let's get to it. First of all, the first, the person, Austin Rivers, let's just keep it all the way, honey, gang. Like, and I'ma just, I'm going (laughs) here because I really didn't want to do this, bro. I (laughs) promise you, I didn't want to talk about it. I really didn't. Now, because I'm going to get the 520 and T in a second. In a second. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, y'all. Cause I, cause, and Mike, I heard you in the background, too, which is crazy, though, Mike. Because you told me, I've seen him hoop, too. Hey, that's, crazy, that's crazy, that's that's Mike. Insane. Yeah, because guess what? Guess what, T? We pulled up for the hoop session. Exactly. You already play. So don't do that. So he don't did. do that. So don't do that, T. Hey, T, said, yeah, on, hold on. on. Hold cool. on, T. We he pulled up it. outside. I, I, I seen Big Bro. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I seen Big Bro. look. So we had our chance to get a one-on-one on the wing. <laughs> yeah, so, so look, so let's not do that. So, yeah, you know I mean, that's a beat. Teague, I told y'all. Y'all yeah. pulled up the training camp, bro. Against the Bears, I forced two fumbles that day, by the way. But look, <laughs> let me tell you something. Y'all see how I get down, gang. Teague, understand, you my man. Shout out to B. Henny. Shout out yeah, to uh, DJ. Shout out to DJ. Wells. Shout out to Wells. Shout out For to the sure. gang. 520, that's family. For sure. T, understand something. I'm the type of nigga that will let you catch the ball, bro. <laughs> what I keep telling y'all, they shooting outside. You better duck. Oh, me. Real rat. Hey. Real, just, real rat. Just, just I'll let you catch the ball. Just because I want to see. Just because just, just, just I want to see if you felt like playing football see, today. Yeah. Like, okay. I do that to your favorite. I want to see. I want to see. And, and guess what? They don't feel like playing football afterwards. So, <laughs> this is what I'm trying to explain to you. But I love y'all, though. You feel me? We ain't got... But look, look, Yo, T, if you crazy. line up, we really... First of all, I ain't going to hold you, like... And he called me, I ain't gonna hold the, the celebrity game, he caught me in a time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we fresh off the season. Hey, yo. Time in the life. Like, fight all back, me. Weekend. Fight back, me. He caught me in the time of my life. <laughs> Well, we weren't living totally right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we were. We was fresh off Super Bowl. Hey. <laughs> oh, for sure. Right in the right All Star. Oh That's my a, God! Yeah. It's been a sprint. Come it's on, been bro. a sprint. Look, we it back was. at work. We back at work. Okay. We back at work. Okay. That's we back it. at work. Right. But look, the this lab game today. It's a whole different animal. Oh, you in shape, huh? Core what? activated, huh? What? Yeah. Uh huh. Hey, come on, man. Stop playing. Stop playing. So shout out to 520. For sure, for sure. Now, shout Austin Rivers. Now, respectfully, your dad spoke to our team. The shit, I ain't going to lie, changed my, my viewpoint on a lot of shit. Shout out to Doc. Okay. Austin, you were in the league for like the last four years because your daddy was the head coach. Let's <laughs> stop doing that. Your only real moment was when you made a big shot over Duke. Let's stop. So let's 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 just hold on. <laughs> let's hold on. Don't disrespect uh main man on what's my man, James Jones? James Jones. He was a quality player on the Super Bowl championship team. Bro, like, come on, let's okay. let's just let's just respect yeah. uh, our black men. Let's let's not, not let's not do this. Let's not okay. get into Shannon and, and just get the hating on everybody. Let's just let's just have respect when we talking to everybody. Okay. Now the only person I do want to respond to that I saw was Lou Wills. Now I, Lou Will had a reasonable point when he was just pretty much like. He don't like that we always say NBA players are soft because they're soft guys on both sides. True. That's true. I'll give you that 100%. Okay. I also agree with him a million percent too, bro. Like, I ain't going to lie to y'all because, like, sitting courtside, like I said, sitting courtside is a different experience. After watching Jalen Brunson in person, cuz, cuz that nigga is nuts. No, it's a different, it's different. It's different. <laughs> it's different. He 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 be he be hooping for. I got a lot more but respect for him. Even in the NBA, it's a cliff, bro. It's like mm-hmm. it's like seven players, like probably six really, six players on a roster who here, and then that shit fall the fuck off, like way off. Whoa, that shit whoa, falls the fuck off. It's whoa, probably some sleepers whoa. around, like you feel what whoa. I'm saying. Yeah, everybody, it's, uh, it's mad underrated. It's like bench. it's mad underrated, bro. But that Hold shit on, falls the fuck off, Hold bro. On, bro. It's not five killers. Fall. fall. So it's that, not five killers. It's so not five you, killers on every team, bro. Every team. So this is what I'm going to ask you. When you're talking about the fall of, where exactly? I just told you. At like That's six talent, players, No, bro. no, 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 no. What I'm saying to you, and this is this is my rebuttal to that. What I'm saying to you is, is that. Skill. No. No. Bro, it be one nigga that, bro, on the team. No. Tim, no. keep it a buck. Every team, not every team, but most teams got stars who scoring 40 a night, bro. For sure. That's every. So that's you mean to every, tell me it's not an NBA player that can come person. grab 15? 20? It's not, uh, an NFL? NBA, it's not an NFL player that can come grab 15. Or 10. 15. Or Rebounds? 10. It's niggas on the court that be scoring eight fucking points. Why do y'all feel like shooting is just the most impossible thing? Y'all understand that it's, we train differently. Basketball players don't even lift weights. Like, so That's obviously right. when you watch a football player shoot the ball, it's different because our bodies are built yeah. different, bro. Like, let, let's let's, let's, let's get, start there, bro. Yeah, like, we, we, built, we, we train yeah, differently, we train bro. Different. Which is not nothing, no knock. Like, it's just Dude, different no, training. Diff- we, but this is what I'm saying. Different, different type of wars. Tim, Tim, this is what I'm saying. It's such a fucking drop-off, bro. 
You can put the eighth player on the roster in the game, and this nigga will a great night for him is fourteen fucking points for sure. But that fourteen a great though, night for Bronson is what a great a great, a great night, night for is Bronson like 50. Is, yeah, is 50. a fifty, 50 ball. 50, Come on yeah, now, like, like let's be 50. serious, bro. Yeah. Like we not 50. talking like like we not talking like 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 what? it's not the eighth man on the team who won't get cooked by an NFL player right now. Like one of the best NFL players, NFL players right now. Yes. I the only reason that the only reason that I'm saying, bro, is and this is and this analysis is based on what y'all do individually and what they do individually every day. Me and Z had this conversation. Bro, when it come and I'm just using this example, bro, when it came or when it comes to playing football, and I'm just talking about from the defensive side, so because I definitely want to hear what hear y'all take on that. When it comes to the defensive side of the bat, of the ball, bro, Daryl Revis at a point while he was playing, was never being attacked. He never had, he, he had, didn't have people throwing his way. What you getting at? What I'm saying to you is that on the offensive side of it, you have, there is no way that you can be on the floor and not be a threat. So you're saying that after the seven, it's a drop off. I'm explaining to you that that drop off is because the seven niggas that's above them are very much hella efficient. And how they do it, how they handle themselves one on so, one. So you're saying because Darrell Revis was so dominant that every time somebody came over there, it was a pick, turnover, force, fumble, or something no, else. No, and people stopped nobody, going over there. Nobody attacked. But in basketball, you cannot hide that way. You can't do people don't hide, defense. Defense. They don't hide yeah, they do. they they don't do. on defense. They don't hide on defense. They, they don't hide on defense. I'm asking you. They don't hide on defense. They don't hide Steph Curry on defense. I'm asking you. They don't hide Steph on they, defense. They, hide, they hit him most of his career, bro. Steph has to go. But hiding... And then not bro, having did, to do yes or no. Let's keep it G, bro. Did they yes. not? They didn't. They hit yes. him, bro. They he didn't. He didn't. He didn't cover. He didn't. They really, Curry. Exactly, bro. So there's. I don't Steph, understand. But what Steph is in. About. Steph is in every. But hold on, because this is just going in the basketball shit. Hiding Steph Curry still has to put Steph Curry in the action. Why do you feel like Darrell Revis wasn't a part of a defense? Like he, bro. And in terms of, in terms he, of if he, he shut has down an entire side of the field, what part of you? What part do you feel like he wasn't still? Actively involved in, in making that defense better every play. If and I'm not saying that he's not actively involved, I'm saying individually when you have to, when you're talking about Stephen Curry being up excluded or taken out of the game or exposed, he has to be a part of that individually every time. There's no zone. So he, there's no there, there's, there's no zone. zone. There's no cover man. three. There's no oh bro. Y'all yeah, do play zone. Y'all do, do first play zone. Y'all do play it's zone. Two, three, you can't play, play zone in the NBA. You, you, you can't play zone in the NBA. Yes, you can. Now you're dead ass wrong. Now they play yeah, zone all they the time. Zone they zone. Game one against six is Miami. They play zone all the time. They play zone. They play zone. Coverages. What the fuck else is a zone? What is it on other than the cover? See, now, zone, see, now you get me on my Joe shit. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, when you're Joel, when you're you're not going to get me here yelling like Joe Budden. Hey, Brian, Brian, when you're, Brian, when you're Joel and B playing for Kansas and you can sit in the fucking lane and sit in the middle of a 2-3, that's a fucking zone. When you play against Syracuse University and they don't have to move their big man or the man at the block so he can cover the baseline and cover the half, that's a fucking Miami zone. Miami didn't play a zone against the you Sixers. I'm asking you. Miami didn't play a zone against the Sixers. They're playing a coverage. What that's the fuck still, do you think cover three is? That's a man to man. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Speed, why do, why, do, why, do, why do y'all think cover two is mad? And why do y'all think this shit is okay? Is Darrell Reeves played cover two. So that <laughs> means just he just sat in the flat <laughs> for this amount of time. Nah, why, bro, why do you feel like why do you feel like football is like that, bro? Why do you feel like football is like that, bro? Why do you feel like football is that, bro? Bro, hear me out, hear me out. If they skip, bro, Speed, if you in the corner and you skip the ball over, yeah. and he's a, somebody is attacking that other person that's down there, he has to still guard him man to man. If it's on the back In a side, zone, in a zone, in a zone, right? No, in a man. No, we talking about no, they run zone in, in I NBA. What I don't are you agree talking with, about? I don't agree with them running a zone. They run a coverage. We run coverages. What the fuck are you talking okay, about? Man, zone, but I just, I just, I just explained to you that a zone and a coverage same. are two different things. No, no they're not. not. The no, they're not. You know, man is a coverage, right? I hey, understand look, that. I want, but I want, I want everybody to look at me. I am Tim's goal post. Watch this. Yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Bro, bro, you like what, bro, bro? Bro, what you mean? You got caught, bro. Wait, y'all no, run no, zone no. When you NBA, bro, no, no, because y'all hey, run bro, zone bro, in NBA, bro. Talk, Can we move on talk, from that point? I don't talk. even want to hold on to this. Y'all run zone in NBA. I'm, yeah, bro, definitely. And, and for you to think that there's not match zone, first of all, I'm explaining something to you, Tim. Because I'm just, I'm just really trying to show you something. I'm listening. And also, too, this is not just for Tim. This is for all y'all little Twitter uh, uh, philosophers and, <laughs> and, and, and experts out here because you, uh, please, the Twitter, Twitter, if you're watching this, take away film. From fans, y'all don't need to watch it because y'all don't understand what y'all looking. At. I'm, I'm telling you, y'all wrong. I'm just letting you know. Okay. The just fact that you feel like you could play a nigga like Tyreek Hill and not have somebody responsible for him at all times, yeah, 
The yeah. fact that you feel like we could play a nigga like Justin Jefferson and not have to know where yeah. he's at at all times crazy. is crazy. The fact but, that the fact that you feel like we played a Derrick Henry in the backfield with an AJ Brown out there, and you ain't have to figure out how to put nine yeah. niggas in there and also <laughs> double that nigga at the to, same time. You gotta when you play, you gotta put six D linemen in the fucking. I'm like, look, so so look. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, started. what I'm saying to you is like this shit ain't man. This shit ain't ninety nine. Like every like zone covers, whether it's cover one, well one is man, but yeah. two, three, four. They all have zone match principles, bro. When you drop into your zone, you're responsible for certain plays. All the best defenses that we've ever been a part of is when an offense runs a play, you know exactly who on the defense is supposed to make that play because they're responsible for a certain area. Okay. What you're saying is, is pretty much, I understand what you're saying. When you're saying a zone coverage, I get it. I watched the uh, the Miami Heat literally fucking crucify the Sixers in, in, in that zone coverage. They rotated, they moved around. Me and Speed do the exact same thing. I'm just here. To, I'm just here to let no, you no, know. No, no, I give you that. I'm just here to let you know that, you that that we we play off each other. We you, oh Speed, you got all right. I'm gonna go here. You go all right back. Cool. And it's and it moves and it switches and like we all work together. So there is in the NFL like there is no like nowadays offensive schemes are too developed and too uh, advanced. And you know what I mean they learn McVay and Shanahan and the Sykins. They all then grew and got better to the point where you can't just go drop and sit in a certain part of the field and just let. Teams just like you know, they, like Patrick yeah, Mahomes and these other QBs with Joe Burrow, they will literally pick you the fuck apart. You can't play like that. So the same point that you're trying to make, the NFL plays match zone now too. So like, next point. My next point is and that because that's crazy. My next point is is that, and just correct me if I'm wrong if I'm saying this is that like the guys you just named, which great great players, um, Tyreek Hill, Chase, and you can go Devontae, right? On their side of the football, like you said, you have to have your eye on them to make sure that they're not making that X, Y, and Z or said play because they are that much of a threat. The the thought of them doing what they normally do on the field is a problem, and I understand and I get that. But we've watched it ourselves that in order for Dante DiVincenzo to be that threat that he needed to, that he had to be, he had to have the basketball. There is a focus on him offensively. That 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 is not a that is not a, a figment of imagination, right? Like it's not like he's sitting in the corner saying, "Oh, he hit Bram." Him him saying, "Oh, if Divincenzo is in the corner," and we're saying, "Hey, bro, Divincenzo might give us forty. He could give us 40. That's not putting any fucking buckets on the board. He has to have the basketball in his hand, make shots, get his teammates open. He has to have the ball to be that effective. What I'm saying to you is, and I get what you're saying. That if Tyreek go 80 yards down the field, I'm just saying 10 plays, he's going to have to be accounted for. I get that. But that's not moving the football. He's still, oh, we got we to gotta play him. We got to, oh, hey, watch Tyreek. When DiVincenzo has the ball in ISO, or Jalen or Jalen Brunson has the ball in ISO, when Halley has the ball in ISO, he is looking to kill. That is the objective. It's not to, be a, it's not to come over screens, not to be a decoy. It's for him to get 40. All right, let me, let me, let me say this first and foremost. Because... I hear your point on, because we was watching it, and again, me and me and Tim arguing court side of the game. We're not even enjoying the game at this point. <laughs> we, we really mad about this shit, low key. I understand your point when we was watching. You was basically explaining it, like, okay, uh, we was talking about uh, uh, offensive initiators. That's what we were yes. arguing about on, on yes. the sideline, and you were basically showing how, like, Jalen Brunson. Obviously, Hollibert, those guys are initiators. Like, they yeah. win ISO. They're the ones who get the defensive coverages shifting and moving to swing and kick to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo isn't a great example in your argument because DiVincenzo dropped 40 a lot off uh, catch and shoots. Yeah, definitely. So, like, he wasn't – now, let me say it. Like, he was hot, so he ended up doing some other shit. But that that's not the same. That's not who he is. DiVincenzo going to give you a mean-ass 17 – off the uh, yeah. five threes, and yeah. them shits is just lethal and daggering. He hitting them bitches over and over again. To that point, okay. like, you get what I'm saying? DiVincenzo is not being accounted for. He's being left open because Jalen Brunson is doing shit. Yeah. So that's what I, I want to say. But my only point to that is, well, what about a nigga like Lamar Jackson? That's where the game is going, too, by the way. Like, Anthony, uh, who I'm missing, Jalen Hurts, in like terms of Josh Allen, like how, what about what about somebody as impactful and as game changing as those guys who drop back, who you also have to account for, you know, last year, Stephon Diggs, 
Uh, you, you, everybody's watching him. Top five receiver in the league. Right. Um, you, you know, everybody's watching him, trying to see what we do with double him, leaning the coverages to him. You know, trying to scheme him out of things. But you also got this quarterback who might just take off and run for seventy yards and touch it, and he does that on the regular. Lamar Jackson does that on the regular. That's somebody who's also like. So my point to that kind of just really be is, I just feel like, bro, when it comes to this argument again, and I think that's why I appreciated what Lou Will was saying is. We got to, first of all, let's start with respect for both sides. Cause, for sure. Because at the same time, whereas though I could sit and respect, uh, you know, Hollibert, I could respect uh, Brunson, um, you know, and or DiVincenzo, any of these guys and how they're doing to, to help make plays the way the team wins. Let's not just sit here and just say, like, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, Brunson just going to come over here and play running back. And because he's shifty, he got good feet and he got great vision and great IQ mm. that he would be a good running back. Somebody have put that little nigga down. That's my respectful. point, bro. That's Let's be respectful. You, bro. And you can't – listen, I'm trying to explain to you. And I know, like, football, <laughs> basketball you players always that, try to bro. make it seem like, oh, y'all always try to take – bro, understand, that is a major part That's of the game. game. Exactly. Pittman understand. is our wide receiver one. Niggas knocked him out of the game. And we didn't have him for a couple weeks. Yeah. yeah. That happens. That's a major element. That's a major element. I didn't watch Speed pick somebody up, slam him on his neck, and he did not want to play anymore. That happened on saying. play one. I saw. I, I was there. I'm just, so <laughs> that's the only thing I don't like. Yeah, with basketball you can't players. take that element like, out the game. Like when basketball players talk this football versus bas- basketball thing, they always want to take the element. I might Come get on. my shit knocked loose out of the picture. <laughs> yeah. But knock I can't in the dirt. take out. That's what I said, right? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't take out that I need three, four crossovers with a spin move and a up under the goal. You feel me? <laughs> a Jordan crossover. That shit not happening. Like, come on, bro. Like, everything is not. I understand basketball is a very skilled sport. For sure. For sure. But football is prided on toughness, bro. Indeed. And if you're not going to come over here and be tough, you can't play the game. Can't. So if y'all don't have 30 niggas who can come over here and motherfucking lower their head 60 times a game and take a hit, and then get back next next week. You got six days to recover and do it a fucking again for 17 weeks. Then no, y'all don't have 30 players who can play fucking football, bro. That's football. Also, too, and this, that's this, part of the game. This is my last part, too. We not gonna sit here and act like we ain't all watch Giannis win MVPs and win a ring by just putting playing his football. damn head down <laughs> and going to the rim. By playing football. Playing great defense. <laughs> And hustling his ass <laughs> off. We we not going like we ain't see that. <laughs> yes. Giannis, Giannis, yeah, everybody, because we really got into because he started trying to say basketball IQ, the football IQ. IQ. I, I don't really know. That's what IQ is. Giannis, 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 Giannis just lowering his head and running to don't the rim. Say, don't say he's 6'11", because I seen Russell Westbrook do the same thing, win a fucking MVP playing football. Yeah, for sure. Bro, for so, sure. so let's, but, let's but not act like that's not acting like They're skilled. Okay, I'm not saying, 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 I'm not saying every 6'10", forward from. I've never seen Giannis drop no I'm, listen, this is what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm not going to say every 6'10 forward from uh, Nigeria, where he really from, or Greece, or where he say he from, would just be able to come to the NBA and, and do what, you know what I'm saying, what he's done and be as successful as, or else we would have two uh, Ante Tacumpos that's good because the other one is trash. But <laughs> what I'm saying boy, is, what I'm saying is, is we've seen, <laughs> yeah, leave, so. we've seen, <laughs> Speed out here making friends. I told you he the friend. Don't get that. Nah, that's my boy. <laughs> But the, the listen, brother. all I'm all I'm saying is all I'm saying is y'all acting like every NBA player. We watch all the great NBA players coming, and like his whole point is that's shooting the jump shot is harder than all that shit. No, it ain't. And guess what? Even if you think it is, we watch people be successful all the time without a jump shot. As much as everybody want to hate it, Ben Simmons is a two time All Star, bro. First team all in, football, uh, bro. First, first team all, uh, all defense, and he was a max contract player until he literally stopped playing. So like. Let's just be honest. We saw him have great success without shooting the ball. All the greats, every great that has came in the NBA, and I'm going there, Bron, Jordan, all of them had to develop a jump shot, but they were all still very dominant before they had a consistent jumper. I seen and shot. now I get that there's other elements to all that stuff. Take we talking about right. specifically having to have a right. jump shot to be successful. Take. That's not true because Giannis doesn't have a jump shot even still to Yo, this day. He's still very dominant. I seen Shaq become one of the best players Take. I played. Without being able to free, free, shoot a free throw. Shoot, without, it, it, but he was the most dominant big man. That's my point. Because this, the NBA players the ain't. He was in that big. No elbowing. Yeah. Oh, that's not. That's just being physical. That's, that's not football. 
Basketball many... has a, a, a basketball has a level Bro, of physicality. Shaq used to put the ball it, it does on have a level of Shaq physicality. Used, Shaq used to uh, have a level two three, dribbles. Level three. Hey, Shaq had cool. 30 points with two dribbles each possession, bro. For sure. That's my point. Y'all mean. Same thing. I can oh, put y'all, it on. Y'all was, hey, on, Tim, on, I can yeah. put it on the Y'all was a twice. technician, though. Tim Duncan. Y'all was a technician. Timmy is a technician, though. Timmy what are we talking about? What they did was That's a little different, different than Shaq. What they did was a little different than yeah. Shaq. Yeah. You can't compare y'all. Well, not, I mean, all they all great. Not to say Shaq ain't got skill. I don't want to disrespect Shaq, but with how y'all and Tim Duncan carried it was very different in their elite primes. It was just a little different. It was a little different, but we ain't going to do that. I want to let y'all know right now, Hakeem Olajuwon is giving Miles Garrett fucking buckets if they in this part. Hakeem Olajuwon right now would not fucking Straight up. talking about Hakeem Olajuwon like 65. Straight up. In his prime. <laughs> would give Miles, Miles Garrett, Garrett fucking buckets. Will pick that nigga up like, uh, like what's the, what's the, who the uh, nigga How from Spongebob? Like, <laughs> 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 he pick his ass up and shake him around a little bit. Hey, how you feel about the Mavs, Tim? Um, Giannis bro, like, they actually about to did you, huh? Did you think we would be here? Did you think we would be here? No, you didn't walk right into that. I mean, <laughs> Did we think we'd be here. I'm saying y'all like, should be. Y'all got yeah, two. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, like, now we should be. I'm saying. Let's him bro, answer the question, nigga. I'm saying, bro. Hey. You gotta, you gotta understand. Give me bro, up, like, Kyrie, <laughs> Kyrie Irving, bro, being in that space, bro, where he like can zero in Thanks. and just do certain shit. Like, so do you, do you think, do you think, do you think it was like it was good for us that we, uh, not good for us because I don't think Bronson. Do you think it was good that we let Brunson walk in free agency and we was able to acquire Kyrie? I don't think that Luca understood how mm -hmm. beneficial Kyrie was. Or, 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 or Brunson. No, or Brunson. Or Brunson. Or Brunson. Yeah, but do you think he would have found that out with Brunson though? I think this was great for no, Luca. No, 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 no. That, but what I'm saying is like mm. it's not it's not like a negative. I don't think it's like a negative or a positive thing for for like not having Brunson or Kyrie. Because yeah. I just think that Luca had to grow into understanding, like, yo, having Kyrie is really a fucking asset. Okay, let me ask you this. You're a GM. GM. Do you do what's best for your stars? Or do you do what's best? Do, like, if you got a star as great as Luca, he has proven to you that he can be one of the greatest to play mm -hmm. the game, or even an MVP for having many years. He's proven to you that he can be one of. Greatest to play the one game. Of, one of, damn, one of, damn, one of, one of. Do you do uh, what's best for him? Do you be like, you know what, this Bronson, he's so good at him. I need to bring a veteran talent in here. Da, da, da. So I, just to make him better, so in the end you can make the team better. Do you feel like you feel so, like Kyrie is a better addition than Brunson was? To to Luca's game, yes. So this is what I'll and say. And to Luca's mental, to Luca's development, yes. For GMs, and I, I know y'all know this for football too, but I think obviously like for basketball as well, when you start to look at GMs, what Cuban has done, I think that Mark Cuban making that trade for um Kyrie, he was thinking Nash and Nowinski. And you can't go away from that tandem. They played hella five basketball together. Yeah. So when you get when you get uh, Luca, and also too to say this is like if we make that decision to get Kyrie in with Luca, if I'm Mark hurt. Cuban, I'm thinking if I'm Mark Cuban, I'm thinking that we're going to win. Like I'm I'm thinking that we're gonna make a Western yeah. Conference Finals. But if you don't, Luca still becomes a better player with Kyrie. He still becomes a better player with Kyrie. I don't yeah. think I think him and Jalen. Jalen and um, Jalen and uh, and Luca, if they stay together, they potentially become Stockton and Malone. Yeah, he don't reach his. Bronson definitely say that, doesn't. But no, no, no. They like they they grind it out together. I don't think he reached a level they, of stardom. They, I think they, they grind it out together. I mean, I don't know. I I I love the. I mean, because they traded. I mean, the Knicks traded for Brunson to pair him with Randall, and now I mean they got some decisions to make. I, think, I mean. This I mean, but league. that's that's the game, though. I mean, yeah. Brunson. I mean, I let me say this. I think I think Brunson, and this is just me. I don't really, you know, what I mean. But what I'm, what I what I think is, I just think Luca didn't appreciate. How, I mean, I think he knew Brunson was a bucket, but I don't think he knew how much of a game changer he really was when he was with him until he watched him develop in New York. Mm -hmm. And I think obviously with Kyrie coming over, obviously with that veteran that his journey so I mean Kyrie like to me like a a old warrior who finally found peace you know on yeah. a reservation like he he seemed like he he done going to war yeah. about shit you get what I'm saying so I like think, now I feel like he got that perspective to kind of give Luca like look man this I didn't did it with a couple guys and like I think Luca watching Brunson grow and play made him realize like hold on maybe the way I go about shit is not allowing other people to grow and really flourish and I got somebody here who really is like lethal 
yeah. and maybe it's in my best interest as a, a great player and as a leader of a team to let that shine. And I think it took Brunson leaving and Kyrie just being the right person to come yeah. to make that make that realization. I think Kyrie reached a point to where he like <clears throat> Kyrie reached a point to where he done chasing the accolades of the NBA. He yeah. just want to win that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think Brunson was more accolade, not more accolade based. Like Brunson want to win too. But come on, bro, I need to like I need fulfillment. This is the shit I dreamed of. I want to yeah. be an all star. I want to yeah. be like yeah. the And it's nothing wrong with that. It's though. nothing wrong with that no, at all. Yeah. But when you got a person who's willing to give more than they, you feel me, receive, mm. and you got somebody who can give you a 40, 50 ball, like you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You in a great spot, and then you get the young guys that just, you feel me, go out there and be young guys and just well, play and be energetic. One thing that I also think, too, though, and like I said, if you just start to look at the landscape of each of the conferences, I think that it was, you needed, you need, Kyrie needed to be in the West. So what do you think the Sixers need right now? Damn. Yo, what do I think? For I just want to know because we know what the Mavs is. You know what my team did when this, we got see, this, we got this, this what I be saying. like player Tim. You feel what I'm saying? So with the Sixers, because they got Tyrese Maxey. Yeah, Maxey. Do they need our blueprint? <laughs> do you gotta let Tyrese go? Federal. Hey, do you need to go get you a good? No, sir. You can't let Max. See, he trying to <laughs> he trying to line up the trade yeah, for yeah, Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, he's yeah, not going to Dallas. Tim, 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 no, he's not going to Dallas. Tim, See, that's why I can't Tim, wait. I'm praying Tim, for y'all downfall, Tim, man. Dallas. I'm praying for I'm praying for y'all downfall. I'm waiting for y'all to lose. I'm waiting for y'all to lose. Because I walk around the building and I just want to give answers to Kanye. Like I need to get him because I see him. It hurt. It hurt. First round exits. You feel me? Bro, I mean, that shit he hurt. was playing on one leg. Like, you feel Still what I'm saying? gave up the 50 goal. Your like, city not T. Like, you feel what I'm saying? If, if I want to. Because you know that hoop squad going to T up the city. Yeah, no, for sure. If I'm if I'm being, like, 100% honest, though, yeah. like, Philly if Philly needs Mikael Bridges. Yes! Thank you. Philly needs they had Mikael him. Bridges. They had him and traded him away. Yeah, they Crazy. need Mikael Bridges. Crazy. He completes. He completes. Yeah. The process. Ev- yeah, he completes everything. Mikael that Bridges, need. for sure, for sure. For sure. And he, bring back Ubre. Yeah, he scrambles. He scrambles on defense and he can make shots. And he ain't scared. I ain't gonna hold. Scramble defense and make shots. I think Brian, I think the reason Brian hits the finals every year, because Brian reached a point early in his career, and I just now started to notice this when I seen Kyrie come to Dallas and start playing with, with Luka. Mm-hmm. Brian reached a point in his career to where accolades didn't fucking matter. It yeah, was to do with whatever to game, win. Yeah. It was just a part of the game. But you got to have accolades to reach that point, though. But do you need a star that's not chasing accolades? Yeah, but you have to you have to have accolades mm-hmm. to get to that point. You do. You have because to have that. You got to know that it's and, that. and that's human nature. That's uh, legacy talk. Like, bro, you feel me? Because at the same time, like, the hunt may leave you unfulfilled. Obviously, mm-hmm. you got to you gotta understand and respect that. Also, too... Those accolades give you a certain respect that open up and bring other things around. Like, you feel me? You got to respect a former MVP. You got to respect a former first-team All-NBA guy. Like, just on the scouting report alone, I mean, this guy's that we watching ain't been All-Pro for three, four years, but we still like, yo, look, shit, Watch he out. might. He yeah. don't be the team that he pop out for the, for the 150 piece with. You know what I'm saying? We still got to respect that. So it's like, you got to do that. That's for the betterment of everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody going All-Pro or somebody going, you know, All-NBA, does nothing but help the rest of the team. So exactly. you gotta, you have to achieve. But I do agree that once they reach that level of understanding, like, damn, okay, I got an MVP, but then I got sent home, or damn, yeah. I, I, I'm first all, first team All NBA, and I'm maxed out. But guess what? Now I'm got 250 million. But you know, what I mean, my name ain't popping, my sneaks ain't popping. You feel me? Like, by the way, it's a lot of sneakers out here. Do you think that's what uh, made? That's a lot of sneakers. I ain't gonna hold sneakers out here. It's, I feel like that's hate too. I don't give a fuck. It's too many NBA sneakers out here. They don't need <laughs> every nigga on the team got shit. Nah, you got yeah. three niggas on the same team with a sneaker, bro. You think that's what? Uh, that's crazy. Oh, you talking about? That's I mean, crazy. Shit, niggas gotta have. I mean, they they wore them bitches every night. Well, you gotta think too, though. And I think Z Z had did a, a segment on that too. Like Nike only got like four or five. What football players? No, uh, or basketball players. It's only That's a couple what? people. Well, There's Adidas G- now, New Balance. They got the uh, the Leaning, Chinese Chinese drum, right? Leaning. Yeah. Kyrie got the and Nika and and Nika and A and I. Nah, you ain't said that about wow. Kyrie. He gonna watch this and be like, no, uh, no, 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 that's who. Yo, you really been on your whole. That's what you signed, bro. That's what you signed, bro. Yo, yo, because we just been letting him get get shit off over here. I'm just saying, bro. Look, he just, he just playing right his now. flag of allegiances and shit. Comfortable right now. Like, that's crazy. I got, I got Mavs winning. 
That's gonna great. drop. Right gonna, gonna drop. drop. Mads win. It's, it's, it's great. It's a good I, time. Lula, 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 this Life is, is a, this right is a now. direct response to Ice. Gonna top five right now. Definitely. Do you have a like a top five MCs of right now? Like, can you like? I mean, just off the top, like, name five. You, you think? Can five? I name five? Yeah, the, t- the top five right now. I'm not gonna name them in order. No, yeah, the niggas gonna hate. Okay. Uh, Drake. Yeah. Gunna and F. Mm-hmm. Future and F. Mm-hmm. I would say you have to put Drake in there. <laughs> just off the Cole. They not like us. You said Cole. Yeah. You you have you have to go with Kendrick. Huh? They not Cole, like. Man. You say you're not going Kendrick Top 5? I don't think I'm going Kendrick Top 5. Uh, just because me personally, I don't really listen to West Coast music. What'd he say? Uh, that is my problem with that whole shit. That and let me say that. Say, yeah, I don't listen to OVO. West Coast. We, all right, we never actually addressed the whole Drake Kendrick shit. I know it's like, damn, they're over now. But <laughs> like, first of all, Drake posting the uh, Time for the Summer vibe. The same wild. The same That's Mariah. wild off of BBL allegations. That's actually crazy. And I'm on your side, gang. That's fucked up, Ooh. though. You can't do that, bro. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a tough side to be on right now. What you mean? What's the BBL allegation? What? Oh, you ain't hear the Metro drop the uh a beat. Oh, he said bro got uh BBL Drizzy. Oh, he got his abs done. Yeah, you can do that. That's a foul. What? Oh, let me redo my top five. If you if you get nah, you're not getting abs though. If you get your abs done, like does that still count on the bipod? Like we some hard working ass niggas. Up. I I earn my six pack every year, so I don't even. You feel me? There's a lot of starving nights. Mm. Hungry, <laughs> but I ain't gonna. Oh, I got high metabolism. Okay. Uh, yeah, y'all tall niggas. Man. Yeah, high metabolism. Yeah, me and Kenny was talking about shit the other day. Me and Kenny talking about we. <laughs> Kenny talking about something. Bro, I'm scared when I retire, bro. I'm gonna get fat. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. I just exit left. I was, I was like, I don't know. I ain't got no fat people in my family. So I don't really know. Lucky ass nigga. I'm All just right. saying, like, y'all don't. Out of here, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I think I. But, yeah, but he got his body done. But yeah, that changed how you feel about his music. Yeah, a lot. But like, is it all right, true? Can, can, all right, this is what I actually want to talk about. Oh, come on, bro. I can't. What, what facts are we in today's That's day and age? Saying. In 2024, what facts are we learning about these rappers that are actually changing our opinions about how we feel about their music? Because I actually think it's a huge misconception about from like outrage on Twitter or X or where, or online. Compared to like what's actually moving units in the streets, First what's of all, actually this is moving bodies. Anti-bullying bodies. world, so let's get that out of the way. <laughs> you can't bully anymore. So no I don't know. What the twenty twenty four, a lot of people been getting bullied, bro. So yeah, true. I'm cool with it. Bring bullying back. Bullying <laughs> is good. Bullying used to let you know you're not supposed to like be. You know what I mean? Dressing like that. Stop. You might get smacked in the back of the head. Don't do a, that. Dress like te- every. Dress like everybody else. Don't be a it's, teacher. Yeah, it's safe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bullying used to let you know like hey, we all got bullied out of some shit. What you got bullied out of speed? But I think Tim? you got bullied out of some shit before, Tim? No. No peer pressure? You just be you all the time, your whole life, huh? Got to. Nothing ever happened to you, and you just like, you know what? Everybody teased me about this today. That's what happened when I'm going to come back next week and do the, uh, the thing everybody told me to do. What happens when you're poor? Nobody, nobody watches you. He never did the. Uh, <laughs> nobody watches you. I'm really not a fan of niggas saying they poor and they not poor. Please never do that. I was, I, we, we were, when I was a kid. Oh, okay. Oh, everybody, was everybody, poor. everybody yeah. cling on to three years they was poor too, bro. Let that three years yeah, stretch bro. go. Mom was fucked up for a second, but she shook back. I don't really like. I'm, yeah. I'm off of, I'm off, I'm off, thing, I'm off of people pop parents coming out too and, and, and correcting. Exactly. Like, yo, you wasn't please sleeping do. on floors. Stop lying. Yeah, please do. Yo, that's it's a crazy. lot of people. I ain't yeah, on that. With, I ain't yo, on that with Mama Cross. I ain't. You know, yeah, I ain't on that. Crazy. Let me clear. Let me clear that up with but the girl. Shout out to her. Oh, it's, it's up. oh, shout out to yeah, Mama birthday. Cross. Yeah, sure, yeah, for sure. Happy birthday, mom. Birthday, mom. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, no, a lot of people. Stop lying on your parents, bro. Boy is a harsh word. Is a hard word. Wait, no, I really do want to have that conversation though. What is a fact about like what is some information that you? learn about people that change the way that the that the music hit because i'm gonna just be honest with you one of our one of the members shout out to the members they hit me like yo bro we don't listen to gunner out here in the p gang like that shit play he rap woo, 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 woo. i feel you i look i hollered at joe and all them when they was all like oh yeah i would have told too and i was like no nah, i wouldn't have did that you know what i mean or i'm raised a little different woo, woo. i get that but i got family in the pen you know free them free the guys free rich sure. but sure. Gonna make me want to spend money and go on a boat and and Have pour fun. Casamigo shots and yeah. you know <laughs> and hop on jet skis and the right way enjoy yeah, myself yeah yeah and that's like, the thing though yeah that's like I mean when you on a boat with the vibes I'm not finna put on King Kuta bro I'm just not like nobody's <laughs> listening to that shit bro we just not bro I don't want to hear you talk about you know what I mean your kid and like bro no fuck you mean that was a song of the summer bro straight up yeah. 
This new it shit. Was, though. No, I'm you saying, know, his so, name not Gunner. But, no but I'm saying though, speed. His is name like, no skill. What's, what's some facts that you learned about these rap? Because I mean, a lot of allegations keep getting thrown. What's it gotta be something. It gotta be some some very like grave. Like it gotta be like some like very bad right now. For me to just be like throw artists away, it gotta be some stuff that I don't even want to say on the show. But like some weird like type. Yeah, like, I mean, slap you upside your head type. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, definitely all the. You know, we ain't even going to speak on it, but yeah. the pedophilia. All else, yeah, all you feel me? Yeah. If you really on some... But at the same time, I mean, th- like, R. Kelly think, drop. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm saying who we... Like, who would really make you throw away? And, and I ain't so going to hold you, and I'm, I'm going to let y'all go, but we also actively listen to murderers. I ain't really... <laughs> this, not, <laughs> this, is not, this is not me judging, yeah. though. You feel me? Like, because... And I ain't even going to put a name or sound on it. Please, but... Please don't. <laughs> look... <laughs> I mean, some of these niggas live in their rats, respectfully. <laughs> so, like, would it, like, I mean, yeah, what, how, I, we going, how we going to judge for one thing and not the next? But I think, I think, like you said, there was like, in today's, like, era or age, I think maybe, like, maybe 80s and 90s, um, rappers were, um, rappers were. Role models? I don't want to call it role models, but you know what? We can, we can stay with that definition. In terms of you being a role model, you actually have to, People have to truly see you acting, doing, and emulating the things that you're saying in your rap. Mm -hmm. I think that now rappers are very much what if. Mm. And people are are okay with listening to them that way now. Like you don't have to be, you don't have to be every everything that you say in your raps, don't have to be true. You cool. Like I ain't gonna no, I ain't gonna say that. Because in the raps, it does have to be true, but I think we have reached a point to where all the rappers that we listened to growing up, that was at the time that they was really doing that. Okay. Now they have made so much money, they have pivot. Future is no longer in the street. Okay. But back when he first dropped, Future was probably still on the block, like chilling. You feel what I'm saying? To, back when, you know what I mean? So that, like now yeah. when Future talk about stuff like Red Leather and all that, he, he mm. making stuff that we doing. Like we on the boats, we on... You feel what I'm saying? We at the crib with with, with our mains and mm-hmm, you know what's chilling mm-hmm, like. Mm-hmm, so he making mm-hmm. that music. So we so far off now. You pop in the OT seven. You feel? Yeah. Oh yeah, he, <laughs> he, 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 he just he just by the way still, he, he, he OT, discovered OT seven Kwani and that and little dollar shows in the hood like yeah, you know what he, I'm he, saying? he discovered he shout out to OT seven Kwani. Yeah, nah, he, he ain't on leave boy. Yeah, he ain't on leave yet. He ain't on leave yet. He think he from Philly though. I got I got bring speed to the city one time. We really not hip on the gangster music as much as we think. I promise. No, no, no. But this is what I'm saying to you though is that, and this is why I said that people don't have to live so much so far into their raps as they used to. It's because of the people that you're talking about. Therefore, that creates the idea of when they start to rap, you can start to think about, oh, I'm just throwing out a name out there, like uh, Quando Rondo and one of the other little kids, like one of the other little kids that's rapping right now. His His trajectory has been seen so much on the future in them scale that when you start rapping about shit that you're doing right now, I kind of don't matter because in the next 20 years, you're going to go own something. You're gonna go do different things, so you can you can start telling. Yeah, but you can start lying. Quando them really catching cases and some of they yeah. uh, really. I know, yeah. no, no, no. I'm, yeah. but uh, but I'm saying so it's is, still out there. We just not in the mix. You're not turning on Quando Rondo because you're not even like halfway trying to be on that because you understand the world way. But it's like, bro, I get my whip, bro. I'm not about to hear about you shooting six niggas. You talk. You talking about you specifically? Yeah, but or just like is, people that where you at right now. Yeah, just where I'm at right now. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, you but, feel what I'm saying? But I but don't I, think that we, but I'm, I'm going to let you go, Z. It was that, and this is the point I was trying to make, is that I believe that the research is out mm-hmm. on niggas not living Frank Lucas lives after they rap. Yeah. That's not the, that's it's, not the reality. It's, it's crazy. Like, there's rappers out there who are literally, like, first 48 video and paperwork all out there, mm-hmm. like, all, like, fact-checked and all that, still, like, Get now, like we always, you know what I mean. We always say, look, you know what I mean, still tough rap. I mean, you could be a, you could have told, you could told, and still be a thug. I mean, thugs tell all the time. I mean, but sure. at the same time, it's people who have been verified, like who took a stand, came out, dropped music, still got motion and stuff like that. So it's kind of like, it, it's not even just on like, you know, I guess telling, but it's just also too like, my Drake got his abs done, like. He got a man BBL, bro. Is that does facts, that does bro, that does like, that? No, that's a fact. I actually heard about fact. this years ago, respectfully. But yeah. 
Does that make that four bat shit not a runner? <laughs> no, <laughs> crazy. No, yeah. no. And you are crazy. And, I'm dropping that bitch every time. Hey, look, look, look. And <laughs> just like like Z, like Z just said, that's what I'm explaining. Like, and that's my. I'm sorry. That's my perspective of it. Like Z said, with the BBL, you doing all X, Y, and Z, whatever. You drop the four bats, and then that's not that's not forget that you did a whole video at Nike. Like, that you have to look at that whole trajectory of an artist when you like, oh, Drake really living that? Oh, he doing all... Nobody cares now, about Now, look, I, I am going to jump out. I am going to jump out and say that a rapper who actually actions made me feel their music a little differently, and I know it's mad ironic because I got a shirt on today, but J. Cole hurt my heart when he did all that, bro. For real, he did. Like, I can't... Oh, it's, hard, it's, hard, it's hard for me to listen to Cole and really feel him the same way. Like, I used to, like, you feel me? Like, speaking on... He, we getting the dog extra work in. It's headphones type shit. First of all, speed wear headphones in the weight room, but I'll, I'll be chilling. That's my man. Yeah, yeah, you do that. I can't so, take it. Look, I ain't mad at it. It's, <laughs> it's, free. it's, it's, it's speed. It's the world. Bro. I, I understand you, bro. We've been I think working. David Banner came on one time. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Lude has been hogging yeah, the Tyloo. office. Crazy shit, bro. As soon yeah. as I see Ty Lude, I put my headphones in, no matter where I'm at. David Banner. Sidebar, I actually had to realize this shit the other day. You gotta. I actually had to realize, like, damn, I've been working here going on seven years. Like, there's people in this building might actually, like, know me. For sure. They might like under, they might understand my ways today. <laughs> they actually hit me, uh Shay Goon uh that we had a stretch line. He talked about some yeah, bro. You just be grumpy sometimes. I just be letting you be. I said, oh, nigga, I don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Z do Yo, come to work one day and don't want to talk. Crazy. Bro, I just be bro. Be a, All right, that's not a Z pop. But not, easy, <laughs> not too much. Don't but want to talk. <laughs> but yeah. what I will say is like, yeah, Cole, like, bro, like. Your whole persona was about grinding to be the best, and then when it came time to get in the Royal Rumble, you just, the way you tapped out, the way he went, like, it don't, I can't he, feel, dog, the same. He, that shit hurt he wrong me. for exiting stage left? Yeah, bro, you was wrong. Now, I get it that you got, you caught yourself yeah. in a beef, in a real beef between two niggas that genuinely don't like each other. Sure. Meanwhile, you was just kind of trying to get in here and, like, I'll rap each other. But at the same time, you put that shit on wax. Like, stop acting like you just went on the... I hate, this ain't a meek situation where you went on a Twitter rant and now, you feel me, you like, oh, damn, I was off the perkies and I was tripping my fault, gang. I'm going to walk it back. No, you went in the booth, recorded it, mixed, mastered it, and put it out. Yeah. And yeah, uh, sneak this him on four other songs. So you felt that way. Yeah. So, like, yeah. don't walk it back now because he really came outside. Like... I think that, I that, that, that hurt me. Like I couldn't really. I can't like you're saying now. It's still, still one of my favorite shirts. I mean, I ain't really got much to do with <laughs> who who on it. I just like the way it fit in the colors. That's how I looked at it. How that shit flowed I looked at it the, as the I, like, <laughs> I kind of looked at it as like Cole was on some shit. Like, ah, right, you came at me. I'm gonna I'm give you what you want, but I ain't gonna go into depth with it because I know this really ain't even for me. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I know y'all feud. Like, this is something that's been brewing forever. Like, yeah. okay. and I ain't gonna even step in the middle because Drake not really my man's, and neither is you. Like, we just, I just said big three on some shit like, you feel me? We the rap game, but I see niggas don't know how to act. So, like, I'm going to just go back to being cold. Mm. Like, okay. you feel what I'm saying? I tried to step in this lane with you, Drake, and I tried to, like, you feel what I'm saying? Bring K. Dot along, but I see that niggas going to be whatever they want to be and try to act tough. So, Kendrick, let me exit. Kendrick was cool with staying I'm, I'm going to say my piece, and then let me know if y'all want me to step back in. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Let me know. Either one of y'all can send a shot and we can get, to, we can get at it. Hopefully, that's what he was doing. Hopefully, he still had his his his, his strap loaded. I don't know. Ready to shoot. But my thing but is, if he you, unclipped... Can you, can you listen, can you listen to beach? him threaten other rappers, like, nonstop on song, song at the song, verse at the verse? I mean, his, his guest feature verse, one of the best of all time. Like, mm. I listen to him rap on these Jones and talk about how he just... You know what I'm saying? I'll probably go to hell if Jesus asks for a feature. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, you on this joint threatening <laughs> my Lord and Savior. <laughs> you saying if my Lord and Savior wanted you on the song, you going to cook him. Like, damn. I but you scared to go one at of, the, yeah, like, yeah, ah, like Cole, I, I, I feel it toughest, different, bro. One of Cole's toughest verses, it, it, it incites rap beat. Yeah. Niggas me call me out. I'm rolling my bullets. I'm rolling my clips. I'm writing their names. I'm making a yeah. list. I'm checking it twice. I'm getting, I'm getting them hit. Come on. Like, 
Yeah. Come on. Yeah, and it's, right. so it's like, so it's like, that's the shit that yeah, right. I'm, I'm in the gym. Like, oh yeah, like bad. I'm, I'm making a list. I got, you feel me? I'm on that. Yeah. And it's like, now I can't, cause you ain't even really willing to execute. Like, yeah. 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 yeah that, it, go it, it, it a little different, bro. Live or die. Know. Live or die. You just, you didn't go. Yeah. That's also, like, to be yeah. honest with you, my main point with this whole Kendrick Drake shit, to be honest with you. I like, was at 3v, like, what was it? A 3v3? Like, what do they call it? Handicap match? Like, how was three motherfuckers going to? I guess it was going. He wasn't going to team up with Drake. That's corny. Oh, the because now you about to anoint K. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I didn't you feel respect. What I'm well, yeah. How was that going to go? Oh, like a triple threat match. It well, wasn't going to well, be a triple threat because even Drake was all great, cool. And all great WWE triple threat matches at some point they started jumping one of them. Like all, all the great triple threat matches done. back to in the, the WWF. <laughs> at some point we just going to beat this nigga up. Real quick. Triple yeah, that's what I'm saying. So at some point, so like, if you was really if you was really thorough, you just going back and forth. Everybody getting beat up. Look, at some at some point we gonna start stomping him. And then guess what? We stomping him. He dead. I'm going to look at you. You know what? Come on. F5, you. You feel me? Then he get up. Now we jumping you. That's that's the beauty of the triple threat. You got know what I'm saying? That's Jump crazy. in. You know what I'm saying? But for you to just say what, he, what my man did off of Friday, you want to smoke with me? No. <laughs> no, that's crazy. So what was that's this? That's crazy. Was this, was this on the same level as Pac and Big? Yeah. Yeah. I, I ain't going to lie. That was... For me, all right, this is just a couple of things. For me, watching the whole Drake Kendrick shit in real time, like, was, for me, I was just in awe of the moment. Like, damn, like, we sitting here, we living through this. Like, we I, we didn't watch movie after movie, documentary after mm-hmm. documentary. Like, her, you know, interview at the interview about how everybody felt during the Pac and Big era when it was dangerous to go to New York and it was dangerous to go to, to Cali, like, and it was just like, damn, we, but like, now we watching this shit in real time. Like, we watching really, like, the one who, you know what I mean, been running the game and he been number one, really being challenged by a more than worthy adversary and getting beat at his own game. We watching yeah. a narrative shift. We watching legacies shape and grow at in real time. And you niggas was on Twitter, like, being annoying, dick eating, all of the <laughs> above. Like, bro, yeah. just appreciate the music. God damn, y'all don't know these niggas. Please relax. <laughs> God damn, Who won, bro. Who won? Who won? Kendrick. Yeah. Kendrick. Kendrick Cook. Kendrick Cook. It's, it's Not like us, the number it, one song in America, Kendrick, right? Kendrick, Kendrick Cook, because I think... You know, like, the Wild Wild West when they used to walk and then draw their pistol and pop? Yeah. I think both of them, they just both eliminated each other. No, sir. No, sir. I know you want to think that, but no, sir. I know you like Drake. <laughs> you a Drake at night. I feel you. Bro, don't I say I like week. Drake. You don't got that on wax. Like, you bro, know, you're a Drizzy fan. Bro. Y'all got that on wax? You yeah, bro. yeah we do, because you definitely said Chicago freestyle. But I ain't going to hold that. I spun that day. you did. Bro, look, it's no way that... It's no way that Drake came close. Like, it, it was a... It was a clean Shady 80. Came close. Came clo- what? Tim, relax. It wasn't close, relax, bro. It wasn't close, bro. It Tim, wasn't I can't close. let you say that. Bro, this is what I'm trying to say to you, bro, is that when that Drake, you know, started, when Drake, I'm here, let me say this. When Drake battled Meek yeah. and it went back to back, it was no talking. There was no, there was no talk. Let me say this. There was no talking about <laughs> what Meek could do. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. What? Yo, yo, bro. See, see what I'm saying is you agreeing. No, 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 no. Yo, see, yo, what? yo. I'm yo, asking let him, the, yo, speed right, me. Yo, right, understand bro. something. Cook, this is why we needed a pop. Right, speed me shooting at me for like two it. weeks, bro. I didn't even say it, bro. Bro, bro. I asked bro, for you to bro, clarify, bro. clean it up. Drake, like, this is all I'm saying. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, war payment is better than back to back. Now what? And I stand on it. Oh, okay. So this is what I'm going to say to you. That's all I'm saying. You're tripping. My man, you my man, but you're tripping. But but I just feel like when Drake was really ready to battle versus me, it was no talking. It was I don't even want to hear this ever again, bro. You know what chill. I'm saying? Like it was straight. It was straight to it. And look, when he was talking to Kendrick, <laughs> <laughs> couldn't have been Big X. <laughs> Whoa, that's, that's I'm just crazy. don't do that because one dog gonna just say don't say it. Couldn't have been Big X. Don't do and that. This, and this is man. how speaking the beat. Just like that. Don't do what that. What you mean? That's Shout crazy. out to X. He he recites. Shout out to X. Shout Tim out to X. Recite. Yo, that's crazy. Bro. But I'm Why just saying. But look, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Just I just think that good. when it came down to Drake and this jump, yeah. he was trying to talk me to death. Like, oh, you keep telling people he tried to be rabbit. Him. Oh, I am. I, you know, I, I do got this. Oh, I had this. I did because like, he lined that though. Bro, he lined it. Just up. rap, but no, no, no. I don't give a fuck. Just rap. He Who raps. Cares? I he mean, rapped. he had. The, I think he had the fight. He had like three. Had the the last Kendrick. one where he had like three flows. He rapped on it. That's one song. I, I, and then he I, I, cleared up all the rest of his beefs and then put it to bed like, all right, I'm done. Cleared it? 
with the future. It also wasn't fair, bro. He had to, he had like to say that he couldn't like this ain't no one on he got jumped. Like is no yeah, nobody wanna openly say that. Like I ain't I get it. Like the, the main event was him and Kendrick, bro. Sure. But that nigga had to fight two undercards at the same time. And That's can still crazy. drop an album right Ross now. Was crazy enough? I think he had to address Rick Ross because Rick Ross was playing a different Bro, he had think about this. You had you had to though. battle Rick Ross on social media. Rick Ross ain't really going to go bar for bar, flow for flow with Drake. Not that I don't think Ross can't, but that's yeah. not the game he played. Ross just came out of a lifelong battle with 50 Cent. 50 played a social media game, so Ross playing social media games. You got to deal with Ross walking around the, uh, the promised land, all his chains on. He fitted up at 8.30 a.m. He just mowed his whole lawn. By himself. You know what I'm saying? By himself on the big-ass joint at Pitney to get pit. Stop being cheap and go cop that <laughs> shit, nigga. Stop being... <laughs> shout out to the Pitmans. The but, you know what I'm saying? So... You feel me? You got he and he making eight uh Instagram stories in a row. <laughs> hey, with tagging all his businesses. <laughs> Riley, call talk BBL Drizzy. <laughs> <laughs> we life. out here, BBL Drizzy. I'm in the gym. I'm hold in on, the gym. Hold on. You feel me? You gotta deal with that. Then you got Metro out here really shooting at you via beats, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He dropped the BBL Drizzy challenge. He got fans in it. He got niggas cooking you at weddings. It's wow. Like you. You got to address this. Then you, you got ASAP. Like, it's a, he had a lot going on at the Man, time, bro. Still be for, and well, you, you still beefing. And you still beefing with the main... It, you, you should just drop the tape on you. Yeah, like. you really couldn't even address the future shit. I think they trying. I think he want to get back friends with future. I, think, yeah, I don't think he really want to do that. Future, but yeah, you really... And you still got to deal with... And I hate to say it, but you still got to deal with the boogeyman. Like, he... he this nigga still at your front door, bro. Like, he ain't playing either. Like, and he don't care about none of that. But at so, the same time, you still had to address that. So it's like, it's because they all throw accusations at you. So it's like, sure. he got jumped. But at the same time, via the one-on-one, he won. My only point is, what did that change? For me, all that did, all this whole situation did for me was it just moved Kendrick from number three to number two. Who's number one? Drake. Who was number three? Now, Cole. Of this era. Okay. Because for me, like... <laughs> Go ahead, though. Top five, top five, top five. Yo, are you okay? I'm good. I'm asking. <laughs> top, I told, I told y'all that kind of wasn't... He, he top five. five? He might be five. Appreciate he it. top five right now. Yeah, right now. Appreciate it. I like, his, I like your five. I mean, I'm going in... If I'm going in order right now, it's Drake, Kendrick, uh, Future, uh, Cole, and Gunner. Yeah, I would go five. That's the five right now. That's the five. Right. People need to just people, people need to give Gunner his credit, bro. He dropped a great album, uh, no features, off the allegations. The he music Roddy beat the album. He brought Roddy Rich out of retirement too. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. Shout yeah, shout out to Roddy. That's Roddy one of my favorite cuts on the album. Sure. He he had the song of the summer. Feel like he got the song of the summer again. Other than that, for sure. Uh huh. And I don't know. Wait, but she like an animal. God. Yeah, they going crazy. That's crazy. But to the spice. No, I'm I'm saying New York might be back too. That's crazy. Kendrick, I might need a New York too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. New York might be back. <laughs> Kendrick, New York lit right now. I ain't New York lit. New York is lit. And New York. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. We ain't putting Kendrick made, like I said, man, Kendrick made moves, man. Um, but my, that's what I'm saying. What did that change, though? I think like, that th changed. This one, this one I'm going to say. I think, Not, that, I think that, that, I mean, respectfully, I think that uh, Kendrick and Drake's beef was the Leonidas throw in 300. He bleeds. Mm. He bleeds. Mm. I give you that. I think that's what Kendrick. I think because he was untouchable there even to the push. The push that's was right. a stain, but it wasn't. It, yeah, it, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't say. It didn't shake him. I think yeah. Kendrick going and throwing the spear, Leonidas getting him. Hey, look, Xerxes they bleeds not like us. because they Xerxes. Not like us. He said A, a minor. minor. I hate that he bar. Said, I ain't a lot. Minor. Think that shit's trash, no, dude. but not, but like not but that I it's trash. It's just I, my whole thing with not for like us is I don't like the song. I, I, all of this is everything he said, hot, all the bars, good. But will I play that shit? I probably wouldn't play it. But I ain't a Bay Bounce guy. When I was yeah. in the Bay, I used to almost have to rumble them uh, boys in Seattle almost every day because I used to tell them that all that shit was corny until they put me on Nipsey and then I called it the truth. Mm. Like, they yeah. put me on Nipsey. I was like, all right, y'all got, got one. Shout out to the hustle. Mm. My only thing is, is like, I feel like this whole beef just really proved everybody's point, though, about each other. Because at the same time, Kendrick, you just got your first solo number one, and it was because you was dissing him. You wouldn't have got a solo number one if it wasn't involved That's in Drake. My point. You wouldn't have got this. You wouldn't have got, bro. Kendrick has okay. never dropped four songs in, in a matter of two weeks since when? We, you've never done this, bro. Honestly, I really feel like most of the fact that his drops were more impactful is because we never hear this nigga rap. That's hate. 
It's a fact. He doesn't point, drop That's music, hate. bro. We hear Drake every the exposure. Day. He's on the, every. He's on. He's always constantly active. He's con and my thing is the exposure. Too, bro, like my, listen, this is my thing is, bro. Okay. Kendrick hates Drake for his role in the culture, but nigga, you not gonna fill that void, bro. You not moving the clubs. You not moving the You're culture. Not you not putting young it. niggas on. Not... You don't really have that big of an influence, in my personal opinion, on culture oh, because no of your lack of activity, bro. There's a lot of people in the game that affected the culture of hip hop way more than Kendrick, who may not be as good of an MC or a rapper as he is, but they're more impactful and they're going to be remembered better because at the end of the day, when they all stop rapping, because they were more active. Kendrick don't drop enough music to really be like in these conversations. I, like I said to y'all before, right. Thug is more impactful to the culture than Kendrick really probably ever will be. So let's, and I mean, this is my own take on that idea of Kendrick being like this, uh, creating, creating this stance where he's like an enigma. Let's not forget that future... Like, kind of like, speaking like what you're talking about, just talking about Future, Drake, and Gunna. They rap, and people look to identify themselves. Like, people look to create identities based off of how they rap. Kendrick doesn't rap that way. So if you're not, if you're not feeding the masses in that way, I'm not listening to any of your content, and I'm trying to figure out He's not selling you say, a you say, yeah, he not, he not building a persona. That's he not, just being. Yeah, like, so that's like him and Cole. Like, Cole don't build a lifestyle. It, to do a we? certain but extent. They, but they to do, a, though. But they to do, a certain though. Extent. They, there's a, bro, they're all marketable. They all do shit. Like, they all do shit. They align themselves a certain way. What I would say is, I would say their personas. Really? Can you really say it, though? Because I don't think Doug that really people, was running Atlanta like that, though, bro. Like, bro. That was that wasn't a persona. That's really who he was. Yeah. He was King Slime. Yeah. No, no, for sure, for sure. So like, for sure, for sure. you can't really my, like Drake is a whole Drake is an actor. I mean, again, it, all I think he did was he was a, one of them people. Like, I had to say, it's like Shaq and Shannon. Like, you one of the people who uh, uh -huh. accomplish enough and 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 uh, verified enough in your own field to be able to actually call out somebody else for their the things that they are doing. And because of who you are and how stamped and solidified you are, we going to hear and receive what you're saying. But these are all facts about this other person that we already understood, though. Okay. Like, we already knew that, like, I don't really think people thought Drake was, like, cool. Like, you get what I'm saying? I mean, he hit hoes and shit. Uh, I mean, that's he rich and he famous. Had his, he had his stints where, yeah. where he was with 21 Savage. And like like how he said, bro, you got, yes. you, you bit off other Atlanta. cultures to work your way up yes. to your mogul of who you are. Yeah, like, but he's always been an actor, When you needed street cred, though. you went to 21 Savage. Niggas ain't wise to grassy, I guess. I don't know. You went when to you baby. Went, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, Drake jumps in every culture, but is that a bad thing? That you just not that closed off as a nigga? Like, you feel what I'm saying? That you can shift and pivot? Like, you can go the comedian route. You can go with the streamers. You can go with the street niggas. Like, you can do what, because you feel Versatility. what I'm saying? Versatility. That's what I'm What's saying. What's wrong he, with that, he, though? I like, think he get judged. I, I hate to say it. And do he got to just be a gangster? This, like, a, this the last part I'm going to make, bro. It, it's fucked up, but I really feel like Drake go through the same shit that Bron go through, bro. Like... People, people, people always get that. mad at Bron and like, oh, why you a passer? And like, bro, bro, listen, understand something. Bron is a great player. He, he, he can direct the floor. His basketball IQ and all that shit is different level. He is a great passer, so he gonna make the great basketball play yeah. in the crunch to give his team the best success. But let's not act like he's not the all time leading scorer as well, though. Mm -hmm. Like he can but score, I but he just he's versatile. So you gonna judge him for being more versatile than the other guy? Um, no, but, I think, but that's not that's not fair. than when you're talking about, and this is, I think, this is uh, the majority of what Kendrick brings to the sport is the fact that he is a uh, he is good single handedly at being a purist. Who? Kendrick. Yeah, that's what people look for him for. They look but, for him, but to, that's, when he opens his mouth, it matters. That's the sport for him. So when Drake is rapping against him. You have to out rap him to beat him. I don't want to. But that, but that, but but that's not. But that's not. That's the game. But that's not. That's not. That's not fair. But I'm saying that's that's like that's like that's like Bron versus Kobe. You're not. Bron is never going to outscore Kobe or be a better scorer than Kobe. But that don't mean. But hold on, they have to be on the same floor at the same time in order for him to defeat him. Understand. Understand. When you're talking about Drake, when we hold on, I'm gonna let you cook. When you're talking about Drake and we're talking about Kendrick, we're talking about the persona. That is Drake that's battling Kendrick Lamar. That's not what Kendrick is battling. He's battling him being a purist and Drake being a purist at rapping. Y'all have to be in the same field. When you're in the same field and you're rapping, Kendrick outrapped him. Yeah, he did. But it, the, was, I don't, it had but, nothing to do. Oh, is that, is, right that, right. is that Drake's strength? 
No, I just think that it. I think that it becomes. Oh, let me let me say this because you. I know you remember this because you brought it up, and I'm glad that you did. When they were shooting all these commercials with Kobe and Braun on Christmas Day, and they was mm-hmm. just sitting there one with each mm-hmm. other, and they was talking and shit like that. That was mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because that was the preliminary. But when they got on that floor mm-hmm. in the Staples Center, mm-hmm. they were adversaries mm-hmm. to to uh, up to the highest to the utmost extent. Mm-hmm. You got your Zoom bronze on. I got my Kobe's on. Okay, well we got to see who put this ball in the hole. We got to see who score. Mm-hmm. And I think that to me, that's where Kendrick and Drake met. And I think that Kendrick won. I mean, I think he won. I just I yeah, think. that's a good point. I appreciate. I ain't gonna lie. I appreciate what you're saying. I mean, and 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 that battleground that they had to meet. Uh, he beat him. I mean, he beat him at his own game. Uh, it's so funny when people always say, like... I don't think we knew, like... Nobody knows who the fuck Kendrick is, first of all. Like, we, Drake makes it obvious of who the fuck he is. And he he makes himself vulnerable to the fans and shit. Kendrick, bro, do you know how Kendrick look? You giving it... <laughs> we don't, we don't listen to that like, shit, Brian. Shout out to the production team. We don't hey, listen to that shit. We, That's why. Seen, That's what I'm saying. Hey, we dude, not spinning that dude, shit. Keep it G. Bro, this is the most Kendrick Lamar has ever <laughs> been played saying. in any locker room I've ever been in in my entire bro. life. I've never heard this much Kendrick Lamar in any locker room, bro. That's hate. It's foreign. I swear to God. That's hate. We listening to this nigga. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> Kendrick again? <laughs> y'all Chill. know y'all was bringing that girl. I'm Kendrick Lamar, a.k.a. Vince's to me just a car. He had yeah. the best verse on that? He might have had it on that fucking problem. That was a great song. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm just saying, bro, I don't even... Kendrick Lamar could walk in. Like, I could be walking through Walmart and see Kendrick Lamar. I'd probably walk past him. Yeah, that's oh, that. Oh, shit, that's bruh. <laughs> Like you feel me? I don't even know what hairstyle he got. Like I don't know. What I'm <laughs> saying though, bro. Like he don't. My, that's my thing. You, okay. you I don't ju- know his swag. You judging a man for, Kendrick- for popping out with sexy red, but that sexy red shit moving the clubs, bro. What you giving us? <laughs> that's my only thing. That's my that's my point though. Hey, like, bro. look, bro, you going to judge? Is that what rap is now? That's what rap is. My thing is is places in the culture. You can't judge a man <laughs> if you going to destroy Drake. Are you going to uh uh make up for the output? Like, listen, if you going to kill the plug, nigga, are you supplying the dope? <laughs> 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 Look, the streets got to eat. No, he put out the stab this way. Now stab that way. OVO. That don't nah, slide. It's not for me. Like, I'm, that's all I'm going to say. Nah, it's, just, right. it's not for me. It's not Shout that it's You don't even like he that won- song. How did he win this battle? You don't even like because the I'm Because I'm, I'm, I'm uh, neutral enough. Again, I don't have a side in this shit, to be honest with you, even though I did say I was on the dog side. But I, ain't, I, don't, have a, I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm neutral enough to, to understand that. Because, listen, I saw it happen to me. Real time when that back to back, that back to back, I couldn't help but Pierce, like yeah. I couldn't help but niggas spending that he bitch rap. in the locker room. They was spending that bitch in the locker room. Niggas looking at me, damn Z. By the way, bro, please stop holding me accountable for that nigga action. So Philly, please stop. <laughs> stop, bro. I can't listen, bro. Bro, you, I ain't nah, gonna you gotta, real, nah, bro. You can't do that. I'm saying, why am I responsible? Because that's I'm your man. You gotta like, you feel what I'm, I'm saying? saying? Niggas come to me every day. Like, come on, respectfully. Bro. In the same light that you gotta, in the same light that you gotta speak for. Meek Mill, I have to give you your credit for Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah. He he won the Mark Twain. He just won the Mark Twain Award for the the best comedian uh, of the year. He just oh got, for this past year. Yeah, he, that that was uh that was the special. Nah, that's dope. He oh, just won the Mark to, Twain shout Award. To, shout out to Kev, man. That's tough. Shout out to Kev. Shout out to Kev. Yeah. Shout out to Kev. That's, that's, that's tough. That's, a, that's a great joint, Philly. Great yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Abby. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. OT Seven Kwani. That's your man now. Yeah, shout out to OT Seven. He actually got a crazy ass AAU team. Yeah, he got Bryce remember, James bro. on that bitch. Yeah. Yeah, he going Oh, to the and, overtime? And he actually uh uh part of like partner part own Hellstar. Oh, damn, bro. Yeah. No, he getting paper. Yeah. yeah that's tough. That, Shout out to those. Oh, that's dope. Like, but yeah, he going fast. But yeah. Damn, it's it's Kevin Hart the um he like he probably the biggest. Yeah, he's the star. He's the star of Philadelphia, especially with Will Smith like getting ever. out at the smacking the nigga now. Yeah. Like ever. Ever? It might be there. Yeah, he had that. I mean, he got Kevin Hart. I mean, Kev. I mean, can I see now? You we now we get into the, a conversation we've had before, but Kev is, in my opinion, he he's the one of the most successful comedians ever. Yeah. I don't know if I'm putting him nah, over Eddie, yeah, necessarily, but the shit that he been doing and the race that he be running. I mean, he's still running, bro. It's been a long Kev, time. Been a long time. Kev is a our. Long time, bro. I mean, respectfully, like, well, let me say this. Let me step away just from the comedy aspect of it because this is really why I wanted to make sure I was bringing it up. Is that I think we're watching um, the mogul that is Kevin Hart. Yes. 
I think uh, I think that's and shit like that matters nah, more. Cruising, shit like that matters more. He to me. on autopilot yeah, in first like, place, and he he, he yeah. he's becoming and, a and shit, and shit like that matters more to me. I mean, the heartbeat productions, yeah. the plastic cup boys, like yeah. just Eric, I mean, with the the Fabletics, the the Fat coldest shit, balls, yeah. like yeah. yeah, he just yeah, the shit like that matters more to me. How he just continued to keep. I mean, the productions, all of the stuff he different stuff he doing. Yeah. Yeah, Kev, Kev somewhere else. Not to mention, and I think, well, and this is... All from Paper Soldiers. Yeah, which is crazy. I'm, I'm going to make Candace watch that tonight. But Classic. All, uh, um, all I've been yeah. making Candace watch black, <laughs> random ass black classics. She get mad <laughs> as fuck. She ain't got no say so either. <laughs> I come home, roll bounce. Don't even say nothing. We put it on. Roll bounce. This is a great hit. It's a great job. I, I ain't going to hold you. I've been trying to pull one card. I think she don't want me to. But I don't even want to put it away. I've been trying to watch Baby, baby Boy, Boy for a minute, I knew it. bro. Nah, bro don't I've been trying to watch Baby Boy for a minute, bro. Baby That's boy a, is a classic. Go, uh, what Yvette do? Nah, you can. You what Yvette do when she dropped little Jody off? That's what I'm saying. You, you, hey, I ain't gonna hold. You dropped the baby boy. You gotta be living right with your lady. I ain't gonna hold. <laughs> like you, you gotta not been in trouble. Yvette for, like, was uh, giving him up. He said, "Well, she yeah, said, you, but, you just sit." She said, "He just lonely. He just needs somebody to talk to." <laughs> what you mean? He needs somebody to talk to. I don't want to hear that shit. Little Jody. Little Jody. Little Jody. Jody. What the one saying? who got my yeah, little boot pregnant. Hey, look, he's yeah, a little yeah, one I'm kid. Take care of his motherfucking responsibilities as a man. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. Hey, no. Yvette was a wild. She dropped a T on me. Yeah, you tell her. He don't even, you don't even live there. Whoa. How you know this? <laughs> you really on, she really hey. on the phone telling your business. No, Snoop snapped on that joke, though. Yeah, hey, Snoop got snapped. off on because nah, I'll be hurt like, bro, heart and stomach. Are <laughs> hey. oh, you really told, you told this nigga about that? That's crazy. <laughs> hey, Pete Money in the kitchen, crazy. Yo. With his girl and her mama. Y'all say y'all want me here. <laughs> huh? Y'all bought me the game. <laughs> Come on, my son. You know I love you. It wouldn't be for, it wouldn't be no Kim if it weren't for you. Hey, uh, P was in a talk of this shit for that little spot in the play stand, yes, boy. No, nah, hey, fool. No, nah, that joke was that. I need crazy, to spin man. that joke. She won't let that slide. She keep nah. vetoing it. I ain't gonna lie. She get mad about that. No, nah, the because all nah, the baby boy is really tragic though. But no, nah, <laughs> I will, but we, baby boy. It's tragic. But yeah. no, nah, what I wanted to get into though was like, how you did y'all did y'all uh, peep the Tom Brady, Tom Brady boast uh, roast? I have. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I, know, I know that was required watching. I didn't. I didn't it was I cool, but I ain't gonna hold Tom Brady. I respect Tom Brady for the fact that he was on some shit like, bro. I feel like Tom Brady is the one person in this world that's not phased by anything in life, bro. KB. Like after that roast, like you feel what I'm saying? I yeah. think he just on some shit like, look, bro. I didn't did everything I set out to do in life. In life, you feel what I'm saying? Got married, had kids, didn't work. So what? <laughs> on to the next thing. Yeah, most Super Bowl rings. Yeah, like, you feel what I'm trying saying? to own a team. Fix, my body, I got my face. Like whatever he didn't did, like he he just like he living. I've done about it to own a team. Yeah, I've done yeah, it. Yeah, like I've done it what can make him mad? Yeah. Man, I guess why that's why he could go on their roast and just have supreme confidence because. To be quite frank, that says a lot about more successful than all these niggas. That says did a you? lot about uh, Will Smith for slapping bro. Like for sure. What you mean? He was really going through some shit. Like, <laughs> Jada be drunk. Because he said some way worse shit to Tom Brady than what was said to Will. <laughs> and Kevin Hart, Kevin he Hart. says the way worse shit. I got to watch that shit. No, nah, but then, hold on, wait, because then, then I want to get to it is that, like, damn, Brady sold out the forum, though. What you mean? Like, he sold out the arena. What like, forum? Uh, L.A. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, I think he sold out, like, the arena. Bro, there was the most famous people in the world there, bro. Yeah. Again, people are going to pay to be in the same building yeah. as Kim Kardashian. As, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, who, Tom? Is, bro, was, who else was? Who, I, I ain't watching, but everybody was on that. Was so you, Kim, need, Kim you said the NBA, NBA game you need to do, like, the club hosting? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> is that not? I ain't going to lie. Listen, let's keep it peace. It's Indianapolis, bro. The most lit shit we got on going on is the the game, the the, the Pacers, the Colts, and the, and the Fever. And the Fever, point. yeah, like, for sure. That's what's going to bring them out. Like, <laughs> so <laughs> you might as well. Hey, yo, hey, look, man. Seven thirty. We got Anthony Richardson right here at Court Section C. Right here. <laughs> you might as well sell it because that's the only oh, thing's bringing these hoes out. No, no, that's crazy. <laughs> Shout damn, my man Mary, bro. Yeah, Kill my dog. He yeah, engaged yeah. But yeah, no, no, no that, but the reason uh, uh, that's crazy. Married and engaged. <laughs> the my reason fault, my fault. It's CC here go speak. I always bring you always bring it my fault. <laughs> oh, the reason I bought that he up, gonna, he gonna write like a marriage for dummies book or some shit like that. Why? That shit go. He gonna Trip drop his book. Man. When you gonna drop your book, nigga? I ain't gonna drop. I ain't gonna. I, yo, you well, know, I fucking it. crazy. I be thinking about that shit. I be thinking about that shit. He gonna drop his book. I'm gonna drop a memoir, man. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm gonna drop a memoir one of these days. You go on a book tour. Get these young boys the game, man. You go on a book tour. Huh? You can go on a book tour. You got to read yeah. a couple <laughs> excerpts. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think I'm bullshit. Watch when I drop that memoir, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I gotta get a game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I might call that bitch the blueprint. Okay. Hey, I mean, ah, <laughs> that was so heat, though. Oh. <laughs> Niggas on their own, bro. Hey, yo. Man, it's really crazy. Yeah, no. I've been pushing to get the trenches on the uh, on the um, on the TVs in the facility. Price oh, facility. for real? That'd be hard. Yeah, I mean, they, they be playing TVO they at practice. practice. Now they say they do. You know, like right when you walk into the locker room, you know that TV just be sitting on like Google, like Google search. Oh yeah, put the trenches on there. It's like, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, get the they say they gonna do it. They just Drop it, drop it episode. They be drop. They play GVO at uh, practice. Now they will drop the pit episode, probably the JT episode. They play some GVO. Yeah, practice. They play GVO at practice. Yeah. Me, uh, I'm about to make a diss song to uh, Ant. You know what I'm saying? Make a little diss song. You ain't even the. Oh my. God, I'm about to get please. right at him too. Cause that's look, look, cause you sound like you sound like Carissa Shields trying to rap out there. <laughs> she done made a diss track for Alicia Baumgartner. Tank. She really want to fight. Uh, what's the nah, name? bro? For is this real. a clap chase? You think she really want to fight Ryan Garcia? Like she really gonna jump in the ring? Her nah, team not gonna let her. She, she needs. She needs not to. But I, I, the it's thing about chasing. it is, I've realized that boxing a lot is it's self promotion. So like, that's how these dudes. That's how like imagine speed. You want to like you don't have a team. It's just you. So like. The only way people going to, like, know who you are, care about you yeah, fighting exactly. is, is you if you causing and constant mayhem. Now, let me say this, bro, and <laughs> I respect all athletes out there. I really do. Like, I know, you know, shout out to T, shout out to Austin Rivers, you know, all that shit. But I've never actually, like, <laughs> really rooted against it. I mean, as a fan, as an athlete now, like, really, like, kind of rooted. Like, I need somebody to come put hands on Shakur Stevenson. I need it. Like, I, I need it. <laughs> I need it. At this point, like, I never really, like, watched a game or anything, like, actively rooting against somebody on some shit. Like, not even caring who on the other side. But Shakur need to go fight somebody, bro, because I'm beyond tired of that shit. (laughs) So, I mean, it's got to be Devin. I would love for Devin to do it. I would love for T.O. to do it. I would love for Quint Tank to to just get it over with. Yeah. (laughs) Bro, I watched. Who Tank knocked out the Asian bull with the uppercut? Uh. What's bro name? I watched that clip, bro. Couple of, actually, yeah, couple bro. Of first of all, that uppercut is lethal, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yes, bro, Cruz. Yeah, Cruz? And y- no, it wasn't Pitbull. No, no, no. It's a different. It's, it's, oh, it's uh, yeah, yeah. Isaac, yeah, Isaac I think Pitbull. it was. No, Isaac Cruz is Pitbull. Pitbull. That's it was somebody. Right. It was a. But look, was one more Cruz. Listen, listen. My thing is, bro. Is just look. I get it. Self promotion, all that shit, bro. But what type nigga is you? Every time somebody has a good moment, you insert yourself. Like, that shit just, like, ugh, bro, that shit just, that shit like that just been getting under my gears, bro. Because it be like, every time somebody win, every time somebody have a good moment, Leo. here you go. Leo Santa Cruz. Yeah, That's bro, and you just be calling, like, my thing is, like, who do you really want to fight? Like, you just want, and then the thing is, you don't want to fight these guys. So that's, that's the crazy thing about it. Like, you don't really want to fight them. You want to, like box them, like, and I think at a certain point we all got to get into the realization of what we actually do. Like, I get paid, Speed gets paid millions of dollars to go run into niggas sometimes. You know what I mean? Like that's that's our job. That's what we get paid to do. Right. My man, you get paid to go into that little square, square and go square. fight that nigga. Like right. <laughs> now they scoring it. You know, there's yeah. techniques to it, but at the end of the day, yeah. y'all got to fight. That's one thing. Frank- I ain't gonna, that's fine. one thing we don't really have problems at a uh, Latino fighter. They'll go oh, yeah, rumble. Fight. No, yeah, they, they gonna go fight. Like, yeah, they, they gonna go who, rumble. Who? But I don't really. I think in today's era, bro, I don't really think like even and like I said, I, a lot. I think I think I might be the only. I hate to say that I'm even a fan necessarily, but I think I'm the only person to actually be rooting for Devin Haney. I got a lot of respect for Devin Haney, bro. Because first of all, he's a champion. Was right? Wrong, no, he is a champion. He did not lose any of his belts. He is a champion. Yeah. Okay. He defended his belt against quality opponents, bro. Whether you felt like he won or not, he won. He won, bro. It, bro, it, bro. There's power and just he did that shit. And I'm even you, even for the right, even though he was getting his ass beat by by Garcia, okay, bro. He was he was getting up. He finished the fight, and shit. He, I mean. <laughs> Garcia was playing, bro. Respectfully, they could have scored that bitch a little different. He almost won that bitch via decision. He almost did, bro. 
Me and you watched that's the fight together. Fair. You didn't. No, he did, fair. bro. But I'm all I'm saying is I respect people for going out there and, and going for it. Losing don't make me look think less of you, bro. Like that's who I am. I've lost so many times in my life that I, I don't look at people differently for losing now. That losing I'm am I glad way. am I glad that Haney got humbled a There's little bit? There's certain type of ways that you lose Thank that you. I do look different. Thank you. For losing or the way you lost. So right, who who lost worse? Haney or Garcia? Garcia. Yes. Well, he no. caught plea against. Uh, he caught the yeah, plea. He, he got punched in the hit inside and, and 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 sat down. Javante yeah. Davis is the fr- is the boogeyman. Yeah, but he, he fought the boogeyman. Yeah, he literally, he, he literally, he literally, yeah, he literally was in there and said, the, "Yeah, no, nah, I don't want." You know, he walked like like it wasn't a it wasn't the twelfth round. Wasn't no, he, he got up? Only only thing I'm only thing I'm gonna say is, speed. If the nigga punch you in your left hip and your right nostril start bleeding. You should you, stop. You probably need to. You should stop. You probably need to get away from that. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. <laughs> you probably, you probably, it's probably, probably time. Should, probably should. Probably time for you to, you know what I mean? That's, that's but you know how I Get out of here. It's a little, something, something ain't right in here. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Why this nose? <laughs> Shouldn't it be over here? That's what I'm excited. Hold on. <laughs> hey, nah, that's what right. I'm saying. You might he be fought right. the boogie, bro. You, but he fought the boogeyman, bro. All I'm saying is, he fought him. Guess he what? Did. And he was punching. He was he was trying. He was trying. <laughs> he tried, damn it. Yeah, he tried. Shakur going to go in there and run it and feel proud about that. Like, cuz. I, I think Shakur, Shakur is going to get us a, a – it's either going to be Loma or Frank. I actually think Frank Martin should actually spend a block and fight again after Tank. He needs to go. So we just saying Frank Martin ain't got no chance versus Tank. I, don't, I ain't saying that man ain't got no chance, but it ain't close. <laughs> Yo, the face off be so crazy, bro. I think I think people always think the idea of tank is one thing until you gotta really start arguing See against this nigga. Then he start really you start seeing he <laughs> look, man, I'm, I'm fresh out of jail. I ain't folding it. You oh, damn, hey. man, go to jail. Hey, Brody just got the uh fourth highest max vert at the combine. 40.5. <laughs> Bronny, why you laughing at bro? Cause tell me, tell me what that means. Tell me what that means. Yeah, hey, what that mean? And bro, why I saw that this day? So they said on every program, yeah, nigga, nigga run a, look, a look, good forty. Look, 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 they said on every program Bronny's <laughs> ever been on, he's been listed as six four. They measured him; he's six one and a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, nah. Hey, that's bro. not what they do to me. First of all, stop playing with me. They, I, my Don't official measurement LeBron, was six bro. one. Stop playing with me, bro. Come on, bro. my official measurement was six one. Yeah, y'all stop disrespecting. He really. Bro. Ronnie really about to go set the league right now. Yes. Hey, whoever, because, bro, I'm telling you right, right now. All right, Tim. <laughs> I inspired. LeBron and AD. Okay. Four and B. You make that trade? I'm asking, who says no? Oh, which team says no? I think uh, I think the Lakers say no. LeBron, four and B, the Sixers say no. No, I think the Lakers say no. Boy, what? The Sixers not letting go of that MVP, bro. The Lakers say no. To get Bron? Yes. And no. AD? No. I think the Lakers say no. Because when Brian retires in two years, y'all going to be assed out with AD, and y'all going to be hot at that nigga. <laughs> y'all going to be so pissed off gonna at bully Brian. AD, AD going to turn into Yeah, he going to cry there. Yeah, he going to cry. He going to cry in the car. <laughs> <laughs> what, like, he going to look like he going to bro from Friday. Hey, y'all going to be sitting. <laughs> <y'all gonna laughs> he look like him a little bit, too. stole my chain. Y'all going to have Brian. I forget about AD in the Kentucky locker y'all gonna room. Have y'all going to have, <laughs> have Bronny and AD. Bronny and AD. Yeah, bro. Leave him alone, bro. That shit. Yeah, yeah. You wildin'. Yeah. <laughs> if you going to do that, you got to go at boy from Houston. You wildin'. Who? Boy from Houston. Who from Houston? Uh, what's bro name? He, when they was he in- He got five baby Taylor? mamas now, so he, on, he made Green? up for it. Yeah. <laughs> he got Taylor five Green? baby mamas now. That's what that is. He, he got five baby mamas. He hella baby mamas. He, do yeah, he got five drop. baby mamas. I mean, what you going to say, nigga? He got five baby mamas? Come on, bro. But he was- Nah, his was worse than AD, bro. I'm- his shit was worse than AD. AD shit, wow, because he is, ah. <laughs> <laughs> After the fact. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's crazy, crazy cuz. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know who's worse, Jalen Green, AD, or Chris Bosh. Like, that's Bosh was crazy. celebrating the championship. I'm not going to get mad at it. I mean, Bosh got ways about him, but I ain't going to do that. But Or Dwight. Nah. Yeah, oh shit. shit. 86. 86. 86. Yeah, we got chill. On, chill. Chill. Now we going on the We finally look, we finally we finally get some momentum. No, we about chill. to fuck it all up. No, 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 we about to fuck chill. it all up. Let's chill, bro. Chill. Let's lock it. 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 Let me tell you on camera about your boy. Oh shit. <laughs> but bro, stop acting like that. But my 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 name clean in these streets. I hear you. My name clean in these streets. Hey, Tim, I'm so crazy, bro. As soon as the uh the White Howard stuff dropped, like all allegations or whatever, if they are allegations. <laughs> I start going, you know, like when you when somebody follow you following somebody, it show you who liked the post. Oh my god! I go back to like, I go back to a post that Dwight Howard posted like two years ago. 
He is, on the likes. Oh man! Whoa, but this after the allegations drop. What he say? What he say? Nah, it was like a it was like a, a photo. I, I screenshotted and sent it to you. Like, hold on, gang, chill. It was it was like AD posted a he posted a picture uh, Dwight Howard. Oh my god! He posted a picture. I was like, look, you with his likes because you liked the picture. <laughs> But it was after the allegations came out type shit. But you didn't like it after the allegations. This was from before. Like, before we all knew what was going on around Hey, here. Super Sidebar, though, I do got to ask y'all this. What's your biggest pet peeve uh, about when the schedule dropped? Like, what's one mm. thing that y'all don't fuck right? with? Damn, we potted for two hours, and I didn't even speak on shit. Uh, pet peeve? They not going to do as dirty like last year. I ain't going to lie. You earned your schedule the next year based off of how you acted the year before. And respectfully... We earned our schedule last year. Like, okay. we in 22, we had the best schedule in the league, bro. We had, like, five primetime games all in December and November. They knew we was going to be nice. We Which wasn't we- shit. <laughs> bro, Shane played a clip today from that Chargers game. We looking at this bitch like, damn, four nine and one guy? Damn. <laughs> and we on Monday night again? Yeah, we was we wasn't shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sorry, we wasn't. It is what it is. There's a lot going so we, on. So yeah, it was a lot going on. Like, mm-hmm. right? So look, all the one o'clock's we got last year, I ain't mad at. But hold on now, let's put some of my respect on the gang, bro. I Damn. need at least four prom times, at least four. I need four. I need at least four, and I need that first one with your boy uh, May one. And by the way, I ain't really speaking on cuz no more. But just understand, you talking about my city, you talking greasy about me. It's up. All right, that's enough needed to be said about. Me. <laughs> Word but, speed. Yeah. On the speed. What's your biggest pet peeve? When you go, uh, when the schedule drops, all them up north teams in December. Early, yeah, early. Green Get Bay, them. early. Yeah, let's Green play Bay, early. September. Yeah, let's get. I'm from Texas. September, <laughs> early, early. Yeah, let's get that shit out of the way. Honestly, give me a, give but me the. We got two. I don't even be games. tripping. Yeah, it's, yeah, two. I ain't gonna hold. Like the league been like a shuffle. It's like a deck of cards every offseason. Like you really okay. don't even know who play on these teams. Damn, they're into game week. Like, damn. Mm. So you saying as far as the hype? Yeah, you know I'm saying? saying like the players, like it's it's a shuffle right now of like, you feel me? All the players that I game planned against my first five years in the league, everybody's shuffling around and the new guys are coming in. You've been so in the league like, for a minute, guys. Yeah, so it's like, bro, oh, what's the name play for them now? Yeah. I was like, yeah, bro. We got speed at three. Oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, like, so it's just like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I just, I feel like. But then again, can you even. The league getting so like it's a whole turnover right now. Like, okay, you damn near finding out about running backs on Sunday, early That's in the crazy. season. Early in the season. Early in the season, bro. You like when running yeah, backs starting on, to hit their shit. Kato going, Kato going here and be mad at us for bro. Three weeks. Look, <laughs> oh yeah, because he do, oh, do yeah, running back reports. Attention to the media. But like, <laughs> I ain't gonna hold Tim. This how the meetings do. This how the meetings go. Okay. Like, Kato, he give you the full game of a running back, but you be like, shit, nigga ain't doing that to me. Dead ass okay. until he did one of them. Until did you get on the field and you like, nah, okay, yeah, he really fought. <laughs> 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 he really got it. Like, yeah, what a, one of them niggas last because year, he ain't going to keep speaking season, on it. At the beginning of the season, you only got like one or two games of him making plays. Like, you yeah. ain't like you ain't looking at no college tape. Yeah. The first four you know games in the NFL now are like new, the new preseason. Yeah. Because you're trying to figure out and don't know about, I ain't going to lie, those are scariest though. You ain't got no film. You ain't got <laughs> nothing to go <laughs> after. Bro, you play a team, they might change their whole offense by week three. You'd be like, bro, y'all just had this shit in the tuck. Y'all ain't run this shit the last two weeks. I watch every snap. Y'all don't do this. <laughs> you can't believe nothing. Just look, man. Words of uh, what our old coaches. Rudiments, man. Rudiments of the game, baby. You just got to yeah. play the rudiments of the game. <laughs> That's crazy. Just give me some prime time, Jones. Uh, preferably in December and November. Okay. Uh, so you said four. Y'all earned four. We've earned four, bro. We got enough four. hype on our team. We got enough offensive stars, because that's what it come down to, to earn four primetime games. Okay. We better than a lot of niggas. Even though I ain't going to hold you, I be seeing all the shit that's going around. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy, but it is what it is. Every year, it's like, we assume certain sh- shit is what it is until we find out. That ain't. It ain't. So, you know what I mean? That's, look, that's why you play the game. That's sure. Game is, okay. Okay. Yeah, schedule definitely dropping. Um, who who you think we got week one? You gotta guess. Who Tim I, trying to win that million. Who I want? Yeah, you know Ursay do the uh the million every year. I fucked up. I fucked by the up. way, Blue actually accepted the challenge. By the way, but hey, and you know what? What I need, this is what I I'm need. gonna set that up. Yeah, no, no, no. This this can I can I pick my? I'm gonna set my scene. First of all, week one. I would like for y'all to play Jacksonville. Yes, yes. Week four. No, I'm sorry. No, no, not week four. Week five, here, versus Houston. Mm. Me and Blue. You want the end zone throw? 
versus Houston. Look at you trying to get some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah, get yeah some look, I'm saying my scene. Tim, Tim think, Tim think he just going to walk right in. Nigga, they going to preseason Chicago Bears. <laughs> they going to Chicago they gonna Bears? Me? What? <laughs> First of all, oh, the we, Bears we, play, don't we actually play the Bears at home, yeah. actually. The Bears are Michael. I hope uh, I'm not mic'd up that game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please don't. Yeah. Please, media staff, no. To somebody else. I ain't going to lie. But I'm just, this is my, uh, what's the disclaimer? If the, if the Colts ever try and get rid of me and they drop that, that mic'd up from any of my games, just know that the Lord working on me. <laughs> I apologize, and I'm sorry. This is my apology. If any of that shit ever get out, <laughs> it's my apology. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Especially that Baltimore shit. I was I was in a different mode. Yeah, different nah, mode. for sure, for sure. But yeah, no, like week five, um, Houston, Crib, me and Blue. Let's get it on. This nigga think he gonna get that to throw at Houston. <laughs> let's get it on. They gonna put your ass against the fucking. <laughs> Me and Blue, I'm being Blue. We about to go at it, bro. Straight up, Arizona preseason. Here we go. I am Arizona. I am. I am turned for our joint practices, though. I'm turned for our joint practices. I think I I like that we do two joint practices, and I like the type of teams we go against. Like you know what I'm saying? Like last year we did Chicago and Philly. We went one, you know, young team kind of trying to figure their way out. Obviously, they was trying to work through some shit. Knew they was gonna have some struggles in the year, so like it was kind of like good to like. I hate to say get out of confidence, but that's damn near what it was. And then we went and played Philly, who's like fresh off the Super Bowl. And it was like, look, that's the – and then look, this was the, the other year. This yeah, what they, they look like. Yeah, yeah. They, they look like that. <laughs> mm. You know what I mean? And then this year we got AZ, again, young team, trying to work some shit out. You feel me? A lot going on over there. And then we yeah. got Cincy. And it's going to be all right. These niggas. They like that. They like that. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. So for sure. I like, I like, I like our matchup. For sure. For sure. Yeah. But yeah, man. No, I just think, like I said, you know, it's gonna be. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating the, the schedule dropping, bro. It's always a good time. I think you know when you start to see different things, you know, see how stuff shake out, and you know, kind of get into it, man. So it should be a good vibe. Yeah, man. It's about that time. It was good pop, man. It felt good to just kind of get out the. You feel me? Get off our chest. You know what I'm saying, Paul? Sure. I mean, I mean, you know, you know, you know, I know how y'all get. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to my man Pat Bev, bro. No free content. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, shout out to little sis, man. Shout out to little sis, man. Real rap, man. Hey. Yeah, man. Uh. Double air horn for little sis, man. Now, shout out, now. shout out to shout out to the shout out to the to the Q's Orange Grad Weekend, man. Uh. It's been a good joint. We got the young boys in the building. I know y'all wanted to hear us talk about, oh, my God, what does he look like? Oh, my God, who is he like? Is he cool? Or... Just met them little niggas. I don't know. <laughs> Long way to go. Long way to go. Okay. Guess what? They gang members, though. Hey. They, and they will be jumped in accordingly. 